Monday lads. Oh, I hope we all had a good weekend. Morning. Good morning, good morning. Oh good morning, good morning. Hope you had a good weekend. Happy Monday. Darth, good morning, Mr. West, good morning. Aninesh, good morning, sect. Good morning, good morning, blood. Good morning, lads. Home, good morning, duck. Good morning. I hope you spent a good weekend admiring some mallards. <laughs> How was our weekend? Did we do anything fun? Do anything fun? Did I do anything fun? Well, you know, I've <laughs> still not yet uh, gotten to Act Three of Baldur's Gate, so I'm still still there. Um, <laughs> I'm still trying to get through it. Uh, act two. We, I think we've skipped a little bit of it, uh, kind of, un kind of unintentionally. We did something that ended up blocking us out of some other bits and pieces, so we haven't made it. Uh, like we, I think there's still a little bit open for us to do a uh, second playthrough of it, but I'm not sure we will. I'm not sure whether it's kind of like, oh, I really like it. I'd love to do a second playthrough of it, or whether. Um, Kind of when it comes to putting that much time into it. Uh, hang on, I'll tell you how much time I've spent in it. It's uh, it's easily a hundred hours. Easy, not not me personally, but I feel like it's easily easily a hundred hour game. Brooks, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Are you on the subway? Or are you still at home? Uh, Borders Gate Three, Capron. We have played eighty. Around 85 hours or so of it. Yeah. Too many bugs? So we haven't found... So I had a... Karlak was really buggy for me. Um, her body kept disappearing. So, um... It's, uh... That was, that was a bug that we encountered in Act 3. But there's been a couple of hot fixes recently. And uh, we haven't... I haven't really had any bugs recently, so it's not been, been not too bad. And I think uh, the they've also toned down the sexiness. Hello. Hi. Hey, sweetheart. Oh, I haven't had too many bugs, fortunately, Brooks. Yeah, we had a we we've, we've had a couple, but um, we did have one game-breaking one in Act One, I think, early on. And we just reloaded the save and it was alright. So I mean not game breaking, but it meant that we had to exit the game and reload, so. Wow, so good morning. Good morning, good morning. You wanna show everyone what I've been working on for you? Yeah? You wanna show everyone 
Guys, you guys ready for a knit update? Oh, I got, I got so pissed. I got so pissed at those kids, Kevin. <laughs> I was like, where's my option to attack them? Uh, you had to go through... I, I guess you don't, I don't know whether you wanted a... don't know if you want a spoiler or not. Of what you have to do to get... It is a little bit of farting around you've got to do. Where's the sexiness turned down? <laughs> In Baldur's Gate, they've turned, uh, they've turned it down a little bit. Second run, hoping I can finish this one. What are you playing as, Sect? Oh, the chest was empty. Oh, okay. The kid wouldn't acknowledge that they robbed me. Well, I suppose you wouldn't, would you? That's exactly what a robber would do. They wouldn't tell me. <laughs> That's annoying. I don't think I managed to get my stuff back either. I just took it as a, do a donation. Oh, picked a gnome bard. Oh, that's a good one. I've a dragonborn bard. I love, I love just playing music in the middle of combat or like really awkward situations. I just <laughs> pull out my lute or my drums and just go at it. Act three feels oddly placed. Inundated with urgent quests. Oh God, no, don't say that. I get a bit overwhelmed when they seem a bit, uh, like when they seem really urgent. Mm. <laughs> Do you guys want to see what I've been working on this weekend? So this is what I've been doing. Hang on, if I can. It's a little doggy jumper. Little doggy jumper. I know I was working on that um, that jumper for myself. I was crocheting it, uh, but I've kind of run out of yarn for it and I prefer knitting to crocheting it so I was like oh I'm sure I'll I'm sure I'll get back to it I don't know if I'll have it done by Halloween I was hoping I would but yeah it is I spent um well maybe 10 hours this weekend doing this which really just shows you how much time I spend in bed really um but when we're playing Borders Gate Greg's taking his turn I sit there and I knit while we're doing it like well he's if we're in um in combat or whatever, I let him take his turn, and I, you know, I sit there and I knit and um... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not um... So I'm at the point where it kind of, so I'm doing the, the body bit, she's quite, you know, we've spoke about she's quite a busty lady um, she's got quite a deep chest, so about each row takes me about 10 minutes now Greg's a slow roller. Yeah, he takes a, takes a little bit to decide what he's doing. And then, like, you know, you have to make it through all of the AI turns. Um, we were doing the Moonrise Towers uh, fight, or what well, the first fight this weekend. Um, so I was sitting there doing this. Um, and then I did a couple more rows this morning when I woke up, sat in bed and did them. Yeah, it's a nice color, isn't it? It's like a, it's a nice, um, this is the yarn. And I figured I don't really want to use more than one ball. Is it a toilet seat cover? I think this is big enough for a toilet seat. Oh, it's a, no, it's a, it's a doggy jumper. It's a doggy jumper, guys. Look, dog goes in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so your dog sits in there. There's a little jumper. Yeah, it's uh, cause it's getting really cold now, and uh, does dog want to go in there? I so she's been quite good at trying it on for me. Um, <laughs> she's been quite a good girl trying it on. Uh, I have been, I've been chasing her around with this, being like, put your head in it. Um, I can't get her to try it on completely because this isn't kind of the hole isn't big enough for her body. Um, yeah, it's kind of fifty fifty. Yeah, it's the same here. She sometimes, um, yeah, she sometimes doesn't like it. She sometimes does like it, but it's getting cold. Oh, it's getting cold. And. This is why I subscribe to Badger, not for the gaming performance, but for oh, the yeah. missing update car <laughs> I mean, the gaming performance, which is high as well, right? <laughs> Thank you, Armour. 
Thank you so much. Thank you very much for 28 months. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, where's a big way? Oh, cool. Yeah, greyhounds don't like the rain, do they? Yeah, so um, it's it's because it's getting cold. And I don't want to leave her in bed when it's all cold. And, you know, she wants the blanket on her. But then, um, like, then she chucks the blanket off during the night. And then she wakes us up to put the blanket back on her during the night. Because she's cold again. Um, so I thought maybe she could kind of could use a jumper or some like jimmy jams to wear to bed so that she wouldn't be waking us up when the blanket inevitably fell off um yeah so i don't want to have to stick up the stick up the the heating just because <laughs> just because somebody keeps throwing off their duvet in the night and then is unable to get it back on them themselves when I keep the heating off um, for as long as possible. Oh, cold winters and heavy snow. While I love greyhounds, I'll admit they're not exactly adapted. No, look at their like, little, I don't know if you see a little skinny legs. They're like a fat on there. <laughs> She's a chilly lady. She's a chilly lady. Now, yeah. I only saw one home. Now we got, we got four. Mm-hmm. Oh, what, like, um... Like one of those cozy ones, Cabrum. Um, I don't know if she would. I don't know. I don't know if she would. Um, I've got a feeling she'd sit on top. <laughs> but uh, she likes to. Uh, she does like to be surrounded by all of her toys. She likes to sleep in a bed that is full of her things. We do. We take away the stuff and we put it somewhere else and she inevitably goes back, gets it and takes it back to her bed. She likes to be surrounded. She's like a bit of a dragon. Like fucking Smaug. She likes to... <laughs> she likes to sleep in all of her stuff. But then she gets... She gets angry. She gets angry at them as well when they're like... Um... When they're in her way, she gets really angry at them and I'm like, what do you think? Like... You put them there, of course they're going to be in your way. So she's like, <laughs> She is smack shaped. She is. You smack shaped, my love. Yeah. You're very cute. Yeah. Very cute. Mm hmm. Hey, it's true. We all have our stuff in our home. That's very true. We don't usually keep it in our bed, though. I did used to have all of my bears in my bed, though. Just to, uh, I guess counter that what are we all up today well we at the moment we're having a knit update like very much i know you go doggy jumper see i was um <laughs> just uh, varying back to the knitting a little bit i'm a little bit worried that i've made it a bit too deep in the chest and that kind of i don't know i wanted her to have enough space because she like you know she likes to like sleep like that I I wanted to give enough leg movement, but I'm worried I've made our little leggies too big. I don't know. I'm, I overthink it because the pattern I was using was for a um, a dash da, dash hound dash hound um, that da, 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 dachshund. I'm not sure how <laughs> sausage dog. And obviously she's not sausage dog shaped. They did have uh, the sizes up, like, you know, the sausage dog was the small and, um, uh, you know, you can make it bigger, but the, even the biggest one didn't quite fit her because she's quite dusty. Um, a duck, dachshund. <laughs> Viola, good morning. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Yes, so I did measure her, but it's hard because knitting kind of stretches and your tension when you're knitting isn't quite the same. Um, yeah, so not shaped like sausage dogs. So I've really had to be kind of ad-libbing it. So I'm planning on, so you can see how it's gone. I don't know if anybody cares about my knitting updates, but you're getting them anyway. Uh, you can see how I've shaped it downwards. I've kind of, I did a little bit of a, little bit of a scoop here, and then I went downwards a little bit more um, speedily with a little bit more increase. And now I've stopped off here to accommodate the bust. 
bust goes in here. And um, I don't know how much like longer to do her chest. But like, do I, I'm thinking about maybe doubling a little bit extra here, her chest, and then to decrease it, because she's got a bit of a, a scoop. <laughs> bit of a scoop. I don't want it to be too, sh too long, but I don't want it to be a crop top. You know, I don't know if Suze is going for the crop top kind of vibe. Um, she's young enough. You know, she's young, she's hip, she can she can rock a crop top if she wants to. But I was going for something a little bit warmer. Am I going to give her a snack puppet? A snack puppet? Snack pocket? Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. I don't want her nasty little dribble snacks anywhere near this. Yeah, so that's the plan. That's the plan with it. And I'm hoping maybe I'll finish it week. Don't, don't hold me to that. Don't hold me. Don't hold my strong hand. I guess I also had, I, is it an announcement? That's not an announcement. Well, I mean, so there's new merch up today. Woo! <laughs> if you exclamation mark merch in chat, you will be able to see our new merch um, that we have up uh, today. And it is the cookout collection, I suppose. You'd call it a collection. Um, it, the the cookout the cookout collection of merchandise um it's kind of based around a camping i should have really put a picture up or something on the screen i didn't but it is oh viola viola thank you very much thank you so thank you very much for 12 months thank you very much for a whole year. Thank you very much for your Jeff Bezos box. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Mm. So um, yeah, it's based on camping. It's a whole year. It's a hole in one year. It's based on uh, kind of like visiting the cookout, joining us at the cookout, and uh, like yeah, camping. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad. Oh, I hope you. I hope you do all like it. Um, I hope you like the flavor text next to it as well. I <laughs> I wrote that. <laughs> I wrote that. I wanted to add a little bit of story to it. Oh, good morning. Hello, hello. Happy Tuesday, Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Yeah. So we have. I, I went for everything you'd want to take camping with you or like stuff you'd want to take camping So you'd want to want a sweatshirt for cold like cold nights camping at the cookout roasting your weenies a T-shirt like a, a, a dad hat um, a little patch um, Obviously the what's the what's the word the the coaster the Like I don't know what the right word is the you know the coaster that it's got to be there gotta be there and a like a little metal cup and a bucket hat because you know we're all we're hip young bucket hat wearers <laughs> someone needs to stop someone needs to stop me well i hope you guys like it anyway i hope you like it i hope you like the theming as well i thought it was very um appropriate for halloween as well is it I'll have a look into that doll. I'll look into that later. It might have never been available. Mm -hmm. Might not be. I don't know. I'll have a look into that. Because obviously... It <laughs> hasn't been so popular overnight that anybody's... anybody's um, just, <laughs> just sell it out. Craig! Craig. Happy Monday. Thank you very much. Very much. What is it? Mer... What did we say Monday was? Like an eggy Monday? That's not a very good one, is it? Like a windy Wednesday, toot and Tuesday. I don't know if you've ever subscribed on a Monday before, so I don't know if I've got a, like a, um, a Monday. Happy, oh Christ, Sue's just farted anyway. Well, Sue's just farted, so without the words, she's still <laughs> making the smell. Movement Monday, movement Monday. 
I like that. Now, Movement Monday. And it came with, like, smell of vision as well. Just for me, though. Farty Monday. Why are you not in camera, even? She, it's like, she does her best. She's like, no, mummy. No, I won't be. I'm not feeling it today. Don't feel my best. Right, do I need to do anything? Or does it just look good? Mm-hmm. Hoof hearted. Or maybe she just sits there so she can stare at me. Oh yeah! No, 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 no! Cameron, if you look in the description, there's a disclaimer that says no spill. <laughs> Spills there. Uh, spill reduction is not guaranteed. <laughs> Made sure to add that. Right, Silent Hill lads. I thought we'll watch the beginning, as we always do. You know, refresh our brain about what's happening. That's us, Harry. She kind of looks like a, um, a member of the judiciary from behind. That's the lady that we saw uh, after we finished the elementary school. We saw that lady looking at us. But we don't know who she is. I've got a feeling that it's going to end up being Cheryl from the future. Mm-mm. Still eager, Brooks. I can understand why Harry wants to do it. Where the fuck am I? <clears throat> like, I 100% understand Harry's motivation for this. But I'm not all too sure about my motivations, you know? Um, not so far, Blakery. We are going to the church today. We're churching it up. So we've just come from the elementary school, which is in the bottom left. And we're going up to the Balkan church. So I'm going to be interested to see what kind of church it is. Hey, Stephen, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Got kicked in the Balkans once. I always uh, read it as Baltics. Oh, there is the Balkans a place. Oh my god, what is wrong with my heart? Is it because I just ate? It might be because I just ate. Don't know what's up with my heart rate today. I'm just really excited for Silent Hill. <laughs> Frothing at the mouth. Yeah. Might be because I've eaten. Balkans, the formerly Yugoslavia, Southern Europe. So is it like um, Southeast Europe? Oh yeah, talking about knitting always gets my heart rate going. So I found knitting quite therapeutic, actually. I've been trying to use it to relax. And I died. Did I die? So, uh, my heart rate monitor has been uh, really dodgy recently, um, particularly this uh, this Spooktober. Why? Hello. Yeah. All right, good job. I've got a heart condition, so if my heart rate looks different to yours, don't worry. Mmm. Mm. Red usually hair. Maybe an hour after we start, so. What do you want? What 
you want? Do you want a cuddle? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what she wants. You want a cuddle? No, you're just here to see what I'm eating. Maybe just here to see what I'm eating. Say hello to everyone. Hello. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> that was a nice little visit, wasn't it? <laughs> nice bed of stuff on. Bye. So this one isn't um, too inaccurate, but the what I used to put it on the stream seems to sometimes change. I don't know. Seems to sometimes change it. It is definitely better than the one I used to wear. Um, I used to have a chest strap for my Hari monitor. And that was that was awful. Oh there we go, church. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be Catholic. Have a look at it from I don't know if we've progressed past the mole kids now. I don't know if the moles go to church or not. I neglected to ask them. I think a lot of churches in America are Catholic, right? I don't want to make sweeping uh, sweeping judgments, but... Yeah, the strap the strap wasn't as good because it, uh, I would sweat and then it would f kind of fall off. I'd sweat when I got scared and it would just... And then it would stop... Oh, stop reading my heart rate so well. More various Protestant ones. Interesting. We have to wait until we get inside. Have a look. <laughs> More excited about the denomination of this church. <laughs> Not about like the mole men or anything. We're like, my okay, Balkan church. Okay, great, great. Hey, Millet. Good morning. Resting heart rate of 40. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm so fucking excited to find out if they're... You know what doesn't look Catholic, actually? Were you ringing that bell? I've been expecting you. This is the hot lady. It told by gyromancy. <laughs> by who? What are you talking about? I knew you'd come. You want the girl, right? The girl? You're talking about Cheryl. I see everything. <laughs> I see London. You I see something. France. Tell me. I see Harry London. Stay back. Nothing is to be gained from floundering about at random. You must follow the path. The path of the hermit concealed by Flowros. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Here, the Flowros, a cage of peace. It can break through the walls of darkness and counteract the wrath of the underworld. These will help. Bunch of uh, wonder what the sugar is also is here. Make haste to the hospital before it's too late. Wait, don't go yet. I say Protestant. Looking at this church. Catholic churches are usually a bit mm, kind of like not like a more opulently decorated, right? In anticipation of the expected demise of Galox 2 on Wednesday, the eager thighs brothel, fried chicken emporium and cyber cafe, cyber junk in the trunk 1077 now 17.4% mm -hmm. off, will be giving you a three for one extravaganza three sale. Three for one? One courtesan, two chicken legs, oh. sold. Two Paramours, oh, oh. one copy of Pac-Man, sold. Three copies of Madden 2002, sold. You freaky, freaky bitch. 
Come on down today and celebrate the old man kicking it in the afterlife. The thighs don't tell no lies. <laughs> Carlux, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday dental day. It's not a Jesus church? No, no, no. It's got Jesus on the, um... These pews are shit. They've not got no seats on them. Or are you supposed to perch? Maybe you're just supposed to perch on the end. You're supposed to be uncomfortable. Tomorrow is cleaning day. Wednesday is extraction day. What will you have as your last meal? No, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Is it before or after stream you get an extracted? Uh, this is Silent Hill. The original Silent Hill. We're playing it on... Um, the PlayStation. Playing it on OG, OG hardware. This is a Jesus church. That's Jesus. Jesus, if ever I've seen him. Pick that up. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take draw a drawbridge. Of course something fucking weird's gonna happen in a bloody town with a drawbridge. What's this? Is that just a candle, maybe? I only used it as a DVD player. The PlayStation 3 was uh, was good because it was also a Blu-ray player, wasn't it? Oh, Starch 320 at your time. Will you be getting the dentist to wa <laughs> watch while they're working? Bam. Won't open. Must be logged from the other side. Fair enough. Fair enough. She doesn't want us following her. Yeah, I would say it doesn't look um, opulent enough to be a Catholic church. That's my um, two cents on that. Look at that nose. Me? Love my love. I don't have any food on me. I use my Xbox just as a Blu-ray player. All the games that my interests are also on PC. We use um, we've got the we we took the PlayStation uh, Three, or we took my old one when I when I moved out, and um, we just use it as a Blu-ray player now. I feel like. An old lady who's like, oh, I quite like the tea. I quite like the tea. <laughs> my TV. I usually don't watch, like, I don't watch kind of much. Uh, I usually use it for, uh, like, YouTube. Put, like, uh, something on while I'm knitting in bed. Mm-hmm. Satan was, yeah. Lucifer. You got it, Jay. I don't know. I feel like I I feel like there's some people who like to own physical DVDs, and there's some people that feel like there's no point owning physical DVDs because they just they can get them on like streaming services. I think it's kind of just a preference thing, because some people don't like having physical DVDs because they are, you know, they take up so much space. You end up having cupboards and cupboards of fucking DVDs. Kinda looks like hospital, right? Or you have to get one of those like DVD storages. Yeah, like having to pay rent for entertainment. I hate paying rent. I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you never really own it, right? You. But then I think that sometimes for things you only want to watch once, you, you might not want to buy the DVD, and it might be cheaper overall. It's like kind of like Xbox Game Pass. That if you think, okay, there's one game on a Xbox Game Pass that I want, I'll pay for one month's worth of Xbox Game Pass. And it's cheaper than buying that game. Hmm. What do you do if you want to watch something specific, exactly? Yeah, I think it's just, I think it's a situational thing. Somebody's having, somebody's having a tantrum today. 
Yeah. <laughs> a banshee. Um. Yeah, like, and I think that having movies kind of at your fingertips. I'm just having a look around this side of the map. Oh, drawbridge, fun. Okay, we can we can actually open that. You know, you could say you you're like, oh man, kind of feel like watching that Lindsay Lohan Christmas movie. Now, you could watch it with no commitment and say you don't like the. There is no gasoline to you. Okay, say you don't like the Christmas Lindsay Lohan movie. You haven't really invested any money into buying the DVD either. I think for me, I have a couple of DVDs. So the Buffy C uh, series I have mostly on DVD. It was the, there's, I've just been being advertised the Lindsay Lohan Christmas movie a lot, so I just... <laughs> It's the one that's in my brain right now. It's like, um, say hello to Christmas or something. <laughs> Why wouldn't you pick up the drill and then go to the gas station? It's illegal to carry too much gas in your pocket, isn't it? You can only have like one litre of... At least in the UK. And the Star Treks I'd be tempted to, you know, like, have on DVD. A shopping district map, take it. Let's have a little peepo. Oh my god, are we gonna get to play Magical Mystery Mall in Silent Hill? I really enjoyed, um, I really enjoyed uh, Parent Trap, actually. Mmm. Yeah, 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 Darth, yeah. Since it wasn't very successful, it's now deleted as a tax write-off, never to be seen again. There was never a physical release. Mm. Yeah, I suppose Twitch is, you know, because... Because <laughs> you can't buy DVDs of... streams. <laughs> I suppose that's true. Uh. Hello, I would not even. Good morning. Do you prefer DVDs? Or... Um... Like hard copy or digital for like TV and film. And T can. I miss a lot of streams because of work. Oh, T oh, I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like the clip channel. That'll make work for very King Peepo. And Sack, good morning. Morning. There's a keyhole. Oh, I, I do happen to have a key. Hard copy has better quality. That's very true. That's very true. Um. A DVD stream burning surface. <laughs> mm. Yeah, my big uh, my big bugbear is that you want to watch something and they're like, okay, well, the first season's on this streaming service and then the next season's on this streaming service. Thank you very much, Alex. Howdy doody. You wouldn't steal a car, though, would you, butthurt? Hello, Ninsage. Good morning. Happy Friday. Hmm. <laughs> Don't copy that floppy. Oh, a big nuisance to buy physical collections? Are they expensive, Brooks? Yeah, like, where do you... Where do you... Where do you kind of store... Once a se series has kind of gotten too big... Say you you were buying all of the One Piece DVDs. Where are you going to put it? Where you put it? Where are you putting them? So I, I feel like I buy the ones that I really want on DVD. Or, or Blu-ray. And then for everything else... I just kind of don't worry too much about it. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't mind having the Star Trek 
I wish they'd come out with a nicer Star Trek collection though, because I feel like all you can really get is the really old and a clunky. Oh, at least the only ones that I've seen are these big clunky collections. <laughs> the worst was the comic series that had crossovers that ran on four different services. Oh. I suppose you could like you could buy one for one month and another for another month, but I just wanted to see if there are any more steps down the side. Mm. <laughs> mm. And you're back. You are having you are having a big tantrum today, aren't you? Oh, Ooh! ow! I could have definitely stopped that from happening. Oh yeah, the fogs are... Ooh. They didn't have to uh, load in so much. Ooh, what is that? No, what is that? I hate it. I hate, I hate, I don't like frogs. Oh, you are gross. You are, oh gosh, you're ugly. Oh my God. Go away. I don't know, they give me big frog frog vibes. Monkey dogs, like monkeys. They're ho hoppy little bastards, like frog, fuck off. They just wanted to run away. They killed me. I'm surprised they ate me in two. The Wambulance. I'm gonna go last Christmas. Getting in the Christmassy mood. I know you lads are seeing the slow descent. I'm sure I spoke about this last week. The slow descent is into me being like, mm, well, it's almost Christmas, right? It's basically November now. I say that during Spooktober. Basically November, which is basically Christmas. Do you like his waistcoat as well, Galax? Mm. I know, I'm sorry. It's just, so my problem with frogs, they're cute to look at, right? I think, wow, okay, that's a cute animal. But then they start jumping towards me. I feel like frogs don't respect your personal space. And that's what bothers me. Shelby! Shelby, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. Thank you very much. What were you retroing today? What uh, what Sega games were you? Oh, what Sega game were you playing today? Welcome in, lads. Welcome in. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome in, raiders. We are currently What's playing Silent Hill. Uh, we've just by been killed Sahara. by some frog apes. <laughs> Kill pain. Thank you very much for the follow. Thank you, Sharfy. How are you doing today? How was your Friday? How was your stream? Oh, Dino Crisis. How was it? Did the did the ending leave you in awe? How do you feel about it? <laughs> yeah, that is me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me and the the, the red alert. It's probably me with shorter hair. Is it? Did I just say Friday is Monday? But Friday feelings. It was a big headache with a good enough end. So it kind of justifies itself. What are you going to be playing next? Oh, pinky lady. Older. Oopsies. Mm hmm Yeah, my hair was a bit lighter. I was a bit, young, a bit younger. I mean, was that how much younger was I? What, like two years younger or so? I was a bit younger. Acting like I'm like 70. Um, I was a bit younger and I, yeah, had shorter hair. Oh my God, Alone in the Dark, I love that. Oh, alone in the dark. Where does it fit in with the uh, with the other two? The other three? It's three alone in the dark? On DOS box? I love Alone in the Dark. It would be Alone in the Dark 4. Mm. Yeah, the earliest Alone in the Dark. But I really appreciated the American uh, the Wild West of Alone in the Dark 3. Mm. Oh, it's perfect for Halloween as well, Sharpie. Oh, I love Alone in the Dark. 
Oh, you've only beat two on the Saturn challenge? Oh, you should play. You should play your ones. What was his name? Um, the ginger guy. With the really fantastic mustache. The very sexy protagonist you play as. Um. Oh, crap. What's his name, lads? Edward Carnaby! In Edward Carnaby. Is he, is he in the, um, the fourth one? Right. Hang on. Now I c Why would the camera do this to me? Okay. Oh, what, well, um... The guy with the hair. Gullets. I hit him, I don't think I... Professor. He's even got a good job, lads. The guy with the long hair. The one with the with the with the hair um that goes Nana wake up I don't like it That one The new alone in the dark have they shown much of it? Quite a lot of spooky games on the Dreamcast list. I've seen um there's an Adams family game on the SNES. Ooh there was a demo this year. Does it look at is Edward in it? Professor Edward. Ed as his friends. Well, who was it that we played as? We played as the um the lady. And she was dressed like a realtor agent. I think we uh, we did a bit where we were walking around trying to sell the house. Maybe we were trying to. Maybe we were the realtor agent. I can't remember. Maybe we were actually. How's the silent? It's been it's been going. The silent Hill's been going. It's um. So we just met a sexy old lady in a church. A Protestant church, we think, not Catholic, because it wasn't, it wasn't um, as, uh, uh, what's the word? Ornate as a Catholic one. Good morning, old sick. Good morning, good morning. <gasps> no, my parents sold my Dreamcast and all my games at a yard sale. How much did they get? Do I want to know? <laughs> How much they got for it? And our daughter's gone missing. Aside from the sexy lady, our daughter's gone missing and we're trying to find her. But, you know, I'm more preoccupied with the sexy lady personally. <laughs> yeah, our daughter's gone missing and we're trying to find her. Oh, Kuro. Watch Silent Hill last week. Is it, um, is it your stream or is it my stream? Is anybody else having trouble with lag on my end? I don't think I... I look okay. Stream seems okay. Okay. Good. Good. Five dollars a game. Well, this won't make you feel any better. We'll all be dead by the time you solve this. I know, Gullix, I know. Ah, yeah, Gullix, good, um, good point. Let's make sure that we're not dead by healing ourselves. Oh, well. Okay. Mr. West. Mr. West, thank you so much for gifting, piss. Um, yes, gifts in a sub. Thank you very much for gifting to piss. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. Harry, you are the worst aim. Maybe I'm the worst aim. A breakfast. Oh my, I'm just running away. I don't care. I don't care. There, so there's a, we can like, <laughs> we can sashay. As you can see, isn't super, um... 
That is super effective. <laughs> it's better thing we sashayed in. Game weather sort of looks like IRL weather here, minus the snow and the demons. <laughs> we didn't have any, like, nothing going on then, breakfast. The snow and the demons is what makes this place such a hot tourist trap. Back for more? Lua. <laughs> Seth, thank you very much. Thank you. Back for Mua. Yeah, I um I sold a lot of my physical media as well. I uh I remember oh, as well, so I, I was having some spaghetti regretties because I was like, oh dang, I sold my Wii balance board. Or no, I actually think I gave it to charity. I didn't even sell it. Um not that the wee balance board is like a oh really hard to come by badger god you know however will you recover for selling your wee balance board uh but i don't know you know i just it's nice to nice to have the physicals right you know the wee the wee thing okay i've got one You know what? Fuck it. Just run. Just run. Just run. Just run. Right. Where are we going? She said head to the hospital. The hospital is kind of right down Richardson Street. Right. I know. I didn't sell anything to um. To like anything valuable, I suppose. I think my Wii Balance board had some um, uh, battery damage on it as well, so. <laughs> I suppose it did its job then, right? It encouraged her. Have a look. I am. Um... I re maybe spaghetti regretty not purchasing a th new three. So my 3ds is um, uh, the, the one of the hinges is broken on it, and I remember thinking oh, I should probably get a replacement at some point, and I should have bought a new 3ds when they were either still in stock or when they were a lot cheaper because now they're very expensive. Did you wee with your mum? See, I could never get my, um... Like, my parents... My parents never wanted to play with me! <laughs> I would manage to convince my dad to play some driving games occasionally. So, I think I got him to... He didn't like Mario Kart. Because he didn't like the... He didn't like the wheels on him. But he would, oca he would occasionally... Occasionally sachet or for, take a foray into one. Borazar, good morning. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Oh, no. I had the Zelda special edition. What, the Link to the Past one or the um, Majora's Mask one? No, he's not any good. No. <laughs> so bad. No, he's not. He uh, He didn't like the driving games can't be opened. Well, there was no point me even coming up here. Right. He uh, didn't like that it didn't feel enough like a real car. And I'm like, Dad, that's because it's not a real car. You're playing as a... You're playing as Chris Pratt. <laughs> it's not a real... It's not a real car. Ooh, a nice pumpkin orange. We are, um, we are missing the side of this. If I don't get murdered, I can fix that, I think. Uh, might, I can't remember how to. They've, uh, they've changed how the like OBS is set up, and now I can't remember how to do anything. An orange. Chris Pratt, best rap. Oh. But is he best Chris, though? I'm doing alright, Chris. I'm doing alright. 
Oh. We are about to go into creepy hospital, and I don't like hospitals even when they're non-creepy. So I'm not super looking forward to this. Oh dear. Harry's also an awful shot, but to be fair, he's a writer, so really do we expect it do we expect him to be a good shot? A little try. Good morning as well. Happy Monday. Oh, I don't. Did you just hear that? I heard that. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't um <laughs> don't have a toll booth on entry, Jin. Please pay five pounds to get into the hospital. I have met Dahlia. Dar 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 I did actually want to um, read you guys out her little flavor text. So you know the really hot lady in the church that I was speaking about? This is Dahlia Gilspy. She's age 46, wrong side of 40, and an antique store proprietor. She operates a slightly suspect antique shop in the suburb of Silent Hill. Rumour also has it that she has a secret side business in fortune telling and magic spells. With more than a whiff of the occult about it. Looks much older than her actual age. Oh no. Usually it's looked much younger than her actual age, but no, this woman looks fucking ancient apparently. I thought she looked very attractive. Not that you can't look attractive when you're old, but I just thought, you know... With singularly, singularly piercing eyes, her enigmatic words and behaviour show Harry the course to follow. She's got an old soul. Does seem like, well, you know, seems like she's single anyway. But, I suppose this was the, what, 19, 1998, no, 2000s? I was going to say I'm not sure how she can survive on a single income, but... If this was the 2000s, maybe she'd be alright. I miss- I do as well, Gullix. You know, that's another- That is a- Another pro to having your media, in general, in solid form. Is- You get instruction booklets, and instruction booklets are cool. my emotional support manual as well when I don't want to look who are you hold it <gasps> stop don't shoot wait I'm not here to fight my name is Harry Mason I'm in town on vacation thank God Another human being. Will you shot at me? Do you work here? Who's he voiced by? I'm Dr. Eric? Michael Kaufman. I work at this hospital. So Who's maybe he you voiced can by, tell lads? me what's going on. He made fluffy good morning. I really can't say. I was taking a nap in the staff room. When I woke up, it was like this. Everyone seems to have disappeared. And it's snowing out this time of year. Something's gone seriously wrong. Did you see those monsters? Have you ever seen such aberrations? Ever even heard of such things? I'll you and I both know creatures like that don't exist. Yeah. Have you seen a little girl anywhere? I'm looking for my daughter. Let's hope he didn't fucking shoot her. She's only seven. Short, black hair. She's missing. I'm sorry. But with all those monsters around, I highly doubt that she's... Sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you. Your wife. She's here with you. Oh. She died Why would she assume? Now it's just me and my daughter. I see. I'm sorry. 
Well, I'd better be going. I like how he takes his briefcase. I can't just sit around here doing nothing. For my business. I'm so a big long. Business man. Good luck out there. Jarian Munro, apparently. Jarian Munro played Thug Number One in Batman Telltale series. He played Bob Zellerback, Joe Chill. Uh, let's see whether he's played anything. Uh, Monkey Island 2 Special Edition and the Chucks of Revenge. He played Barkeeper, Costumer, and Clown. Uh, he also played some other people in Monkey Island Special Edition 2009. Uh, played the Navigator Head, Mancomb Seepgood, Captain Smirk, and Scum Bar Cook. Uh, in the Godfather video game, he played Dino de Mantania. I've never watched The Godfather. And some of the, like, some of the minor characters. Lord of the Ring, Return of the King. He was the King of the Dead. He's a Grievous, General Grievous bodyguard. Not seeing anyone. Ah, The Lost Files of Sherlock Holmes. The Case of the Rose Tattoo. He played Sherlock Holmes. We might eventually play that. Uh, he was in Space Quest VI, Roger Wilco and the Spinal Frontier. He was that um, really hot <laughs> he was the really hot commander in Space Quest VI, Commander Kilbasa, you remember him? Uh, Dr. Dr. Bellew, Bane Rohheimer, and Starcon Official. He was also in King's Quest VII, and he was the bull in the china shop. It doesn't seem like he's done, like, much that is not you know i don't want to i don't want to don't want to you know he's probably had a good career and he's enjoyed himself um but it doesn't it doesn't look like he's uh yeah i'm putting off growing the as well i am um he is just you know he hasn't he, he's got a very recognizable voice and it doesn't seem like he i recognize him from anything you know I guess is what I was trying to say. Hmm. I think he does just remind us of something. Some or someone. Uh. I love hospitals. Hospitals are my favorite place to be. Yeah, he's got uh, he almost sounds like you know those movie trailer announces kind of you know world premiere got a good voice it's a shame he didn't land any kind of like major major roles i guess there's a newspaper the article's been clipped out <gasps> i can't believe it i can't believe they would vandalize a newspaper like that oh disney now yeah Because I go in there and I say, what's up, Doc? I know there's Looney Tunes, but... Is Looney Tunes owned by Disney? Christ, I'm nervous about this hospital. Yes, you know, it... You know. Everything will be Disney. don't have the map for this place. Be nice if you did, though. Is that the map? It's the map. Okay. <laughs> That's the map for the basement, at least. Okay. Acme was the original product placement. I feel like product placement isn't as fun anymore. You know, these days, me 
media these days just doesn't have the same product placement as it used to. So I quite like, um, you know, a, a good way to say this. I don't want to say I love pl product placement because I don't love product placement, but I do quite like it when there's like a random like Doritos vending machine in a game or something. It does make me laugh. Is this where I've just been? Like I wouldn't say it was a, yeah, the Yakuza games. Yeah, 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 yeah. It can be fun. It can be fun and not kind of like, like super obtrusive. Like, you know, I think Cyberpunk would have been a really good game for some product placement or some advertising because they could have had the actual billboards have like Coca-Cola or something on them, you know? Yeah, Pizza Hut signs in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Mm. Oh yeah. Or like a McDonald's or something. They have a real Porsche. Oh, do they? Cyberpunk. See, I like it when it fits. I don't like it when there are Mercedes-Benz cars in Mario Kart. I feel... Oh, but then that was quite funny. So I don't know. It's a thin line, I suppose. It was, It's quite funny seeing Link just riding around in his Mercedes. Because if Link was to drive any car IRL, it would be a Mercedes, right? like this. Yeah, I was going to say, kind of, um, as long as it's not done obtrusively, because I suppose you are already playing for the, paying for the game and then are you then paying to be advertised to? It wouldn't be very accurate if they did use their turn signals. Not just broken, it's been smashed to bits. Oh, don't miss the boots to walk underwater later. Sponsored by Crocs. <laughs> Have you seen those Shrek Crocs? They look pretty cool. <laughs> Books are scattered around the desk. Nothing of interest here. Yeah, because you don't want to feel like it's, like, you know, say it's a really expensive game, you know, like a $70 game. And then you have to get adverts shoved down your throat. It's probably not what you want. The shelves are all messed up. Who did this? Harry's like, oh my god, I can't believe the mess. Who lives like this? <laughs> Who did this? <laughs> oh, see, there we go. What's this? What's this? Cold original. Or do I get targeted ads? I do like to browse the Crocs website. So I've only ever... Uh, so I've never bought a pair of Crocs. I got gifted a pair of Crocs from my parents when I was like, uh, like 12 or whatever. And I still have that pair of Crocs. And those are the Crocs that I use. But I do enjoy browsing the Crocs website because I like to see how, like, you know, I feel like Crocs have really evolved from just these simple kind of clogs to, oh God, no. So, you know, now they have platform crocs, they have furry crocs, they have crocs that look like Shrek. They had Sonic the Hedgehog crocs. Oh, yeah, those cowboy build crocs? Fucking great. They're amazing. Oh, my God. Stop wasting your ammo, Harry. Just shoot the piece of shit. Do the Sonic Crocs make you go faster? Only if you've got them in sport mode. I hate, yeah, loves Crocs, hates Croc. That's the kind of product placement you'll see in this stream. Dislikes frogs. So it's a, I don't know whether I'd say dislikes frogs. I just, I, they're just, they don't respect my personal space. 
they jump at me, they harass me, and I just feel like if they were kind of animals that just left me alone and went the other way, that would be alright. It would be okay, but they don't. They, they, they are harassive, and I don't like that. Now, frogs, Alundra. My other great rival. What am I looking at here? In-house generators. ICUs and operating rooms only. Presuming that the generator is going to give me some light. Oh, I don't like this. Yeah, it just upsets me that deeply, Dysel. I just remember my cat bringing in this half-dead frog. Didn't even bring it in, it was in the garden. This half-dead frog I stumble across. And I'm like, don't worry little frog, I will help you. And then it started harassing me and like jumping at me and it was this like bloody, like bloodied frog just jumping at me and I just don't like it. I've got a heart condition. <laughs> Is why it's so high. It shouldn't be dropping down to zero, but that's a bug. I've got the bit of a funny heart, you know. Then I finished the job and I murdered it. No, I am. Um, I just left it, left it to it. If it wasn't in the mood to be polite, I wasn't, you know. Frog was pleading for aid. I was gonna help it. I was. I just, it was, I, no. Hayley Snello. How come you've seen, never seen me badge? I only do that on Thursdays. Good morning, drunk. lovely ladies. I wonder, they've got really long necks. Not to... What's he doing here? Just out for a jaunt. Thought I'd swing by and say howdy. Hi for Helen. Howdy! Thank you very much for the follow. Oh, okay. Do I have any keys? As long as you're not a frog, Haley. <laughs> you're safe here. Not a frog friendly zone. No, I think frogs are cute. I will, I, you know, I, at the risk of keeping repeating myself, I do think that they look cute. They look like cute. I think I've got a frog emote. I should get an emote, emote with Wilbur with his head like sawn off or something. <gasps> Did I notice what? What, the lady with the long neck or? Oh! Riveting. Yeah, they look, they're cute, they're cute. They're all right. I, I particularly like those really bright colored green frogs with the with the little like yellowy, reddy little. Maybe what was a toad? Toads frighten me a little bit as well. Should I buy, oh, should I buy a box of Marvel Crisis Protocol miniatures? Yes, yes, absolutely. Hang on. Where's me ball gone? Absolutely. No question about it. With the Ultra and Iron Man, Spider-Man, Captain Marvel twice! And even though I've got no space to keep them. It is decidedly so. Ellie, Get that credit card out. Ah, 
That means that you can have a Captain Marvel on each side. Two Captain Marvels. You could uh, paint them differently. You could have like a black and white Captain Marvel, like a um, kind of like a cro, cro uh, like get uh, you know how like like they are in the the One Division show, you know, like old TV black and white. Eight fucking Captain Marvels. <laughs> I didn't, what did I, was I, oh, my first three elevator trips took me, there was not a, you know, I did notice, Alondra, I did actually, I was like, I thought I, I thought I went to the top floor already, but then I just thought I was stupid. <laughs> I believed so much more in my own, like, absent-mindedness than I did for the game tricking me. Oh, they locked it behind me, didn't they? Oh, don't. No, no need. No need to shoot. Oh, I don't like it. It's fine, it's fine, Badge. There's so few jump scares in this game. I'm sure there won't be one now. There's so few jump scares in this game. Am I gonna have to start shooting nurses? I don't know if I'm into that, lads. Oh, I've got to kick her. I've got to kick her so she doesn't get back up. We're not doing that clap for carers thing anymore. <laughs> the bird cage and it's empty. Okay. I've had some mean nurses before. I've met doctors as well. I think I've had more mean doctors than mean nurses. I think. I don't know. Oh no, she's back up, I think. I gotta admit, I've got a, like, I've had a bit of a mixed bag, you know. Mmm, there's some really nice ones, though. I've had, I feel like the, I don't know, have the nice ones outweighed the, the mean ones? I feel like it's 15, 50, 50 with me. I gotta kick her so she doesn't get back up me after I kill a spider. I always insist that Greg puts the spiders outside, but I'm pretty sure, because he has to, um, <laughs> immobilize them first so he stuns them okay bcr he stuns them and then drops them out the window i'm pretty sure what he does is he <laughs> like stuns those stuns those spiders and then they plummet to their death <laughs> how does one stun a, stun a spider um, oh, Greg's just so stunning, you know. No, um, he, I mean, it's but, uh, like a fly swatter. Oh, they're fast fucks as well. Oh, jeez, okay. Hang on, let me pivot. God, fuck off. I died. Oh. Step on in, it stuns it instantly. <laughs> 
Yeah, the nurses be like, oh, have you hydrated? Have you? And I'm like, yeah, I, I, I drank like, like a liter of water before I came here. And they're like, it costs you to find your vein. <laughs> You must not have drunk enough water. <laughs> oh, she's definitely eaten a couple of them before. She definitely has. Mm. I think, yeah, I think, you know, when you're having something like that done, they feel really bad for you, don't they? The bot camera nurses. Oh, but they were so lovely. They were nice. They were really nice. Okay, I'm ready. Oh. 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 We got a steel plate, it is screwed into the wall. No, 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 if you, if you start, if you kind of like, um, if you don't hit them too hard, it does just stun the spider and you can kind of see it's still moving. Either that or it's its loft and death rattles, but I always assume that it's still alive before we put it, like, put it outside. Mm. Yeah, I still remember the um, one of the nurses uh, when I was in a &E giving me a cheese sandwich. Wasn't a very good sandwich, but I don't think that that was their fault. <laughs> you know, just hospital food. Hello, Quinn. Good morning. Oh, a plate of turtle. Pardon? Mm. Ah! All right. Yeah, free sandwich. Yeah. Nice of them. It's a really bad sandwich. It was like it, it is grated cheese between two pieces of bread with no butter. So it was. <laughs> Wasn't anything great, but it was. It, it, they were very kind to give me the sandwich. I wanted to uh, heal. Do I need to? Um, wanted to heal and save. Oh. Don't know whether to maybe use the suppository. Feels like a bit of a waste. We've got three of these, so maybe I just use two. Mm. Drunk is um is Australia nationalized health? Don't diss cheese sandwich. I wouldn't. I wouldn't imagine to. I merely tell you what it was formulated out of. Hey, it's good quality. Oh. Nice. Long wait times though. And yo, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Right. I remember um for my MRI I went to a private hospital. Not that I didn't, I didn't pay for the hospital. It was because there was no MRI uh, machines available on the HS. And they needed to do it, so they, I don't, I don't know how it, how they worked it out, but I don't know, 
ended up going to like a private oh so nice i know i've spoken about this experience uh, like several times before but, oh so lovely i went in and they were like oh hello ma'am uh, tea coffee and hot chocolate at the back <laughs> i know it's not free because you know really everybody else is paying for it but like and everybody, I felt like a real, um, so I'd gone in really comfortable clothes because I knew I was going to go get an MRI. So I was, you know, just there, just in really comfortable kind of slobby clothes. And everybody else there was dressed in like their best, um, like Sunday best almost. All the old ladies were looking like they were going to church. And I felt, <laughs> I was like, you could tell who is here on the NHS. <laughs> And it's me. Oh wow, Lundra. Are they good? Are they funny though? Oh, Mendo, what made you stop? Just some dry as useless now. Well, if our clothes get dirty. Might as well make it fancy. I would have. I would have if I'd known. To be fair, I was very comfy. I was, and then when I walked in, it was like a spa, like there were like cha like designated changing areas and everything. Oh, it's like a spa, it's like a spa. Oh, they thought I was like Jeff Bezos casual wear. Do you think? Oh, digits. That's sweet. And I hope you've been obliging. Oh. Gullux has got a dental procedure later this week. So it might also be in need of your services. Do they? Bada bada! Chris Pratt here. Feeling lonely, we will probably well, die by the famous. time you solve this. Probably the result of a lot of intermarriage. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Imagine, though. Imagine, you know, brain training. You know, I spoke about how I used to love doing brain training. Imagine if... Uh, what was his name? Doctor... Um, I know it began with a K. Imagine if he, every time that you got a bad brain training score, would say... <laughs> Was there a lot of intermarriage in your family? <laughs> Stupid. Imagine that. Oh, I don't like the move. Oh, okay. Bottle filled with some kind of drug, better leave it. Dr. Kawashima. If I ever have an MRI, I will be wearing a bow tie, oh, cufflinks yeah. and a stovepipe hat, as usual. <laughs> Wouldn't expect anything less from you for. Thank you very much. I hope you're wearing it right now. This stream deserves to be fancy. Mm. Private clinics saw me and prescribed in only a few months. No, no, I don't want the drugs. I want this. I want the other drugs. Naturally, top hat. <laughs> me lady! Thank you. I remember having to take out my ear piercings even though they were titanium, which is supposed to be non-magnetic. But they're really, um... They're really worried about... I, I mean, understandably so, I suppose. Yeah, I got the inside of my ear pierced. Um, not just... I've got, I've got the lobes and then the inside of it done. I remember them being really, really worried about it. Mm. I have ears. Don't look at them. Don't look at them. I hate this fucking music. What is up with it? 
It's unnecessarily tense. Oh, played of a cat. Lovely. Yeah, I just I just took it out for it. I was like, I don't think it's gonna close up in the well, like hour I'm that I'm in there. Non -magnetic. Oh, he's sad. Is the hardware on your drawers not uh not not magnetic? How far are we? Uh so we've done the uh like beginning outside bit, we've done the elementary school and now we are in the we're past the draw drawbin bridge in the hospital. So maybe um Like eight hours in, I've got frog. <laughs> yeah, I avoided calling myself Captain Badger. It is. Yeah, I thought it was a bit odd. You know when people cheers uh, each other, Haley, and they say "here, here," I get really upset. Just, just burst out crying. Oh, see, look, 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 look. It's done it again. I wonder if I... I feel like I must have missed something. Because there were more stairs that we didn't go down. Lip reading. Oh, a health drink. That's nice. Is this just a... Okay, there's a vending machine and it doesn't work. It's fine. I got enough. Ah! Sorry. That was a... That... Oh, oh my god, it's a doctor! They'd all chant in, <laughs> in glee. I'd know they were. They'd all look at me and laugh. And I'd just know. I think I'm hitting him. how they have like little babies attached to their back okay okay that's down to a basement smell time direction accomplishment <laughs> sense of accomplishment mmm <laughs> the head shake doesn't compute I know I was gonna wear my other headphones today I feel like these ones keep my glasses up as well, because otherwise my glasses start sliding towards my uh, the front of my nose. Roast some whiskers. Honestly, I am still not okay with the fact that I can't see anything. I don't. I don't know if there's something there. I'm gonna cry though. Right, I just need a second to... I need a second to... Before I go through that door. Okay. I'm still not over the fact that our ancestors... <gasps> I knew you were there! We don't have tails anymore, is what I was going to say. Wouldn't it be so cool to see loads of humans walking around with fleshy tails? Drunk. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for giving us up to Cabro. Thank you very much. Happy Monday, drunk. Cabro. 
Welcome to the weenies. Some people are born with tails. Don't they lop, lop them off, though, if you're born with a tail? They would be impractical, but I feel like worth it. Am I even hitting him? I don't know. No, I wasn't. Yeah, I suppose if you were tails, it wouldn't be cool, would it? Right. Hmm. Yeah, surgically, I would be so fucking angry when I got to, <laughs> if I got to adulthood and my parents were like, oh yeah, you were born with a tail and we just cut it off. I would never forgive them. But like, think about, think about how, how many advantages you'd have. You know, you could, uh, presumably if you could control your tail, you could like hit people with it. Um, I like how my first thought is, how do I use it to attack people? A cheese factory. This cheese eaters have been infected with monstrous cheese. Unfortunately, your characters like to stop. Does that mean you go really fast with the diarrhea propelling you, Haley? Mm-hmm. Like Goku. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I hold my beer in my tail. You've got so many uses for one. Think of the cosplay possibilities. Think of the cosplay of you! Yeah! You could be Goku. Oh my god. You'd have so many options. You could be a cute cat girl. Kids would, yeah, kids would, but like, yeah, kids are going to bully you anyway though, right? I got bullied and I didn't have a tail, you know? Oh, go through the door, you absolute wank stain, Harry. Oh. It's locked, great. Yeah, I got bullied for not having a tail. Ooh, my friends had tails! <laughs> yeah, I bet they would call you Curious George, wouldn't they? Oh, they would pull it. Yeah, that's true. Can I go back through? Yeah. You could swing at the bus stop. Can I just open the door? There's another one. Where's your friend? Might not be a friend, actually. Might be co-workers that hate each other. They take so much ammunition to kill. I think I've... See, the problem is they're so quick! Why do monsters in these games always sound like they're having an orgasm? Because that's the scariest thing of all. <laughs> Thank you, Fog. Thank you very much. They couldn't think of anything more terrifying. Fog, I've got a question. If you could have a tail, would you? Yeah, they don't get, though they get stunned, would it be easier to hit them with a pipe? Oh, I wonder. I feel like not with both of them. They did call it a little death, didn't they? I remember we had to write about that in, um, like, uh, in literature, we had to say about Wyatt. Yeah. When death might not actually mean death. Hello, Kenzo. We're doing all right. We're just, uh, we're, you know, murdering our way through a hospital at the moment, you know? As if people didn't already not want to be in this hospital, they're really not going to want to be in here after we're done with it. 
Oh, we'd already been in there. We'd already been in that room. I recognized it. This is when I regret not exploring it, but I'm pretty sure we've already been in there. <laughs> not my first choice. Yeah, I wonder, I suppose it would be cannibalism. Never mind. I don't, don't, you don't need to know the rest of my question. A prehensile and not just a vegetal tail. What's the difference? Kitchen. We've been in the kitchen. Scorpion tail with or without the ability to poison people. Oh, yeah. I do know exactly where I'm going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you worry. Oh, degraded useless. Ah. Oh. I want one that's super useful. How do you get trousers? I suppose you just cut a hole up the like ass part, but then is that um public nudity? chaps. I feel like that might be public nudity. Improved balance? Yeah, like imagine if you were a gymnast and you had a tail. Oh yeah. Are they flares or are they boot cuts, Kenzo? Is the question. Oh, there's a sound. I don't have the map for this place, but we do have a key. I thought. Otter. All chaps are assless. You know, I, uh, as someone who rode horses. Assless chaps. That now that's what I am wearing to the hospital later this week. I right, convenient for a colonoscopy. Breakfast. Thank you. I reckon the doctors would be quite pleased. Now you'd have to be ass less drunk. No, 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 no. It's, um, as a, as a horse rider, chaps meant something quite. Chaps were something a little bit different. They were something that just went over your calves. Is this the way I came from? I don't remember. I, you know what, I'll try. Ah! How many have I got? 15. So once people started talking about like assless chaps, I was obviously very out. I'm not sure this is the way, lads. He was dancing as well. A bit, uh, but it takes a bit, bit too much health. I was like, all traps are assless. I showed him. I did save 15. Well, I saved some ammo, so that's nice. Yeah, you could just say it was a scarf drum. Or a tie. Depending on how business casual you are. Gatekeeper, gatekeeper. <laughs> okay. This also feels a little bit more vicious. God, they dance, don't they? Oh. 
Half chaps only go up to the knee, but they can go all the way up. Oh, I can hear somebody. Give him the clamp! might need to take a health potion. I never saw calf chaps, the one I, ones we wore on the horse were full length, kept you from getting cut up by brush and branches. I always used to wear just the ones up to their knees. I suppose we didn't go on many, like, we didn't go on many hacks, so... It wasn't too much of a problem, the branches. I don't like it. I don't like that! Have you tried taking an anti, like, antihistamines? that my problem with horses was um because i was i had allergies as well um i had issues with their hay not necessarily the horses so the antihistamine did enough for just the horses oh who is that fred how's the rona i don't know i presume that it's like the colonoscopy machine has gotten a consciousness. I presume that this is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing to kill it as well. Oh yeah, you might have to sew it, Darth. I don't know if it cut, it's an iron-on one. Is this how I'm supposed to be killing him? Is he just got a lot of health or am I doing... Still testing negative. How's the missus doing as well, Brid? Try befriending it. Sir! I've got some hemorrhoids. Would you like? <laughs> I would love an answer, Alundra. Am I supposed to kill this thing like this or not? Because I will stay here for like I I'm quite a patient person. This is not the way. Is a gun the way, or do I just like just leave? Does it like go to sleep? Oh, I need an item. I wonder then, Darth. I wouldn't be able to say either way. I wouldn't want to. <laughs> wouldn't want to get it wrong. Flowing over a hill, sky on a sunny day, tangerines that are bitter, lucky four leaf clover, violets in the garden, dandelions along the path, path, unavoidable sleeping time, liquid flowing from slashed wrist. Oh, that's nice. Is that the order that it's supposed to go in there? Four square indents. Well, we do have a nice, isn't it? Nice. What do we got? Queen! Are you there? Will you just pop it in or do I have to... Oh. oh! The red one, right? Is it like here? No. Well, I'll pop it there. I do... I actually infamously don't, don't love poetry. There are some poems that I like! Are all some, but uh, lyric poetry was my least favorite module. I hate it. 
face is it? Oh, Darth, I'll um I'll see if we can add that. See if we know and we can add that. Still got a faint positive lime, her fever's gone and coughing, congestion is better. Did she have a cozy weekend as well? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I didn't um I wasn't I wasn't the biggest fan of poetry. I remember I took lyric poetry thinking that it was going to be uh, a, like, a light reading module and the first seminar that we had we saw the seminar like the seminar leader the module leader and they were like some people take poetry thinking it's not gonna have much reading I'm here to prove you wrong could have fucking cried in reality, I think I should have maybe swapped modules. It should be badges of weenie and you are too, Calandra. I think think some fresh air does you good as well when you're ill. And cleaning. Like getting the um getting the dust out. There we go. Picked her right in the caboose. Fresh air usually makes me. <gasps> oh, do I get to, to, to set it on fire? Set the tentacles on fire? I don't really remember what poetry we did. I think we might have even done my favourite era. Oh no, we did um in a different module. We did post-war poetry as well, and that's always pretty like it's always pretty miserable, you know. <laughs> I completely understand why it's miserable, but it is it always is quite heavy, you know. So I didn't enjoy that. Oh, Darth! No, don't even, don't, don't even, don't even think about it. I'm glad you like the picture, though. I'm, um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm pleased that, I'm pleased, like, no, don't, don't even, don't even think about it. Don't even, um, don't even worry. I'm glad you like the, um, like the vibes, though. That's what I was going for. I was going for a cookout. <laughs> Cookout vibe! And for everyone wondering what I'm talking about, we do have some new merch out today. Um, if you exclamation mark merch, or click the click just just there, you'll be able to you'll be able to see it. And I hope you I hope you like the I hope you like the picture as well. Thank you. I always feel like I'm like I'm presenting something and I'm like, I hope you guys like it. <laughs> How about artist subjective except if you're a teacher? Oh yeah. Why is it not? I uh rem I saw a video, a short video, on of mice and men. I'm sure most most of you guys have read of mice and men. Oh, I had to do it for school. Uh, you know Curly's wife who wore the red lipstick, and then you had to write the le the red lipstick represent passion, and means that. <laughs> Essentially, <laughs> Curly's wife is a whore. You know, that's all the video was like making fun of the fact that you, you know, you write that. And um, really, she was just a nice lady who liked to re wear red lipstick. And, you know, it was a, uh, it was a weird, you know, weird. Oh, you liked it. I hated it, Haley. I hated it. It was, oh, no, nah, it was too spooky. You liked the mice. Did you like the men? I think the men are the bits that made it worse. I did not. I did not do the art for the uh, new merch myself. I wish. I wish I had that amount of talent. I do not. Didn't. I did a did a very rough picture of it. Um, I like. I did. I drew. I drew it, and then sent it to someone else. And I was like, "Did you do this? But make it look really nice, please. Thank you." 
Mm-hmm. Think outside the box. I don't even understand the box. See, they say think outside the box, and then if you thought outside the box, you were wrong. I remember getting my, uh, one of my, um, essays marked down because I used the word I in my essay, and I was like, who do you think's arguing this? Like, I've written I argue because I'm the one who's arguing it. Who do you think is, uh... <laughs> what magical third entity is, is the person who's arguing this? Glad you, I'm glad you think so, friend. I wanted it to be like you were like visiting like a uh, like a camping cookout and um like you know it was like a bit culty and you're roasting the weenies which are you know like it's like a double double thing because you know you're a weenie but you know it's like oh what are the sausages made out of and um the uh in the in the in the like the picture you can see that there's some eyes oh there are some eyes in the in the trees watching you. Mm-hmm. The yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted like summer camp, summer camp vibes, and it's like you're taking home your like summer camp shirt. I think I I did the flavored text on one of them, being like, you take home your summer camp um, merch like a souvenir, and you encourage your friends and family to come back with you and kind of like join the join the cult, like join us. I'm looking for the, uh, the... Oh. I was... Looking for the elevator. Yeah, exactly! Join us! In the opinion of an essay writer who happened to pen this particular page of words and phrases... <laughs> I think they wanted to put a... a the, so, everybody... The problem with the marking was that one person would mark one thing and would hate the, the fact that you used I argue and another person would mark it and be like, I love the fact that you owned your argument. It was amazing. And they'd mark you up for it. Really annoying. Because you'd be like, so do you like us putting I argue or do you want me to say one could argue? One might argue. Yeah, the inconsistent rules. Oh. What do you want? It can be argued by somebody who's definitely not in the room with us. I'm at three. I'm trying to look to see if we can get to the magical fourth, but maybe we have missed something either in the basement because we need to get rid of the tentacle monster, presumably. Oh, the Scarlet Letter. Behold, there is a woman of the Scarlet Letter and moreover of the truth. <laughs> oh, dear. Mm-hmm. Eat the weenies, mingle a bit, dance around the owl statue. Exactly. Sit by the fire. Maybe, yeah, okay. or what, like go up in order, one, two, three. Oh, B, B for badger. Uh, you know what, let's do, are we at B right now? No. Sacrifice someone to the old gods, but only if they were already old, though. You know, we don't want to be wasting. Waste not, want not, right? Oh, women. Um, <laughs> women. Why did I say it like that? Oh, women. Oh. I fucking doom all over again. Not doom, quake. Sorry. <laughs> I just got so startled. <laughs> hey, I just look. I look in the mirror and I'm like, ah. Hey! Thank you very much! Thank you very, very much! 
Thank you very much for grabbing a piece of merch, Anonymous. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you. I hope you liked it. Oh, oh God. All right. Grab the health drink. Oh dear. There's another bit. No. Fuck off. Hang on. Oh, I've just got to get rid of these women. Very insistent. Oh. I've got them in a bit of a tunnel. Oh. Okay. Oh dear. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. oh Christ. What oh. the ladies? I feel really bad kicking them. It's like, um, it feels like Harry has a lot of, um, <laughs> kind of a lot of unresolved trauma when he kicks them. Women love me. I suppose he's probably pretty pissed that he's having to find his daughter. Yeah. Yeah, I would rather them not heal up and kill me later, that's true. They don't seem to have very much, uh, very... <laughs> don't have to seem to have very good intelligence. They don't, like, they don't seem like they're gonna come after me, you know? Not to be rude, I don't want to be mean, but they don't, if we're honest. Oh! Can I pick this up? Oh, can hammer time. The culprit. The culprit of the smell. Oh yeah, show everyone where the smell comes from. Yeah. Show everyone, yeah. Is it from your stinky, stinky butt? Mmm, what I thought. Yeah. Is it because you're happy? Do you think she wants a blanket on her? Cold? It's a bit cold. No, you just be cinnamon roll. <laughs> I have not given her any cheese snacks. I have not. Mm-hmm. Not a bit of guilt. Not a single bit. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Very much whoever whoever got themselves a switch. Thank you very much. I hope you like it. Was it sausages at 9 p.m.? No, she has, I swear she hasn't had anything weird to eat recently. Um No, I can't think of anything strange that she might have had. She hasn't had any, like, special treats or anything. She hasn't been particularly, like, good or anything to warrant any. Oh! Alright, I hope you like it. I hope you like it. I hope it's not too blasphemous to have a badger on your shirt rather than an otter. She had cereal. Uh, Greg did make me some porridge today. And it tasted like soap, which was very upsetting. What does that look? I'm making her... Soon she won't be cold, I'm making her a little sweater. This is my knitting that I showed you guys earlier. When you come at the beginning of stream, you get a little knit update of what I'm making. Little sweater, so she won't be cold anymore. 
She might be a little bit cold. It is a bit cold in here. Mm -hmm. Was it soap? <laughs> I don't know why it tasted like soap. I don't know. Like, so he made some flapjack with the oats before, so it can't be the oats. Yeah, it's getting cold, fool. It's getting chilly, so I'm trying to I'm trying to pick up the pace. I'm hoping that it fits okay. This is the first like uh, clothing item. Like I see other knitters calling them uh, garments, but I feel it. I feel like being like I'm knitting a garment is a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like it's a it's a it's a word above my station. If that makes sense. Oh, she can call me her significant otter. She can buy you little clams to rub on your chest. And otter, it's just filtered through that you asked me, and I and I have I haven't heard of the 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 Irish person or thing that you asked about that I registered, and I thought, oh no, I haven't heard of heard of that. Or them. I can't remember if it's a person. I should ask you what they or who they are. And then it, it then it, it filtered through my brain. And didn't quite filter to the mouth. <laughs> so. You know, sometimes I lie in bed at night. And I'm staring at the ceiling. And I think, oh, dang. I saw... Brett asked me a question, and it's just filtered through my brain now that I didn't answer it. <laughs> like, well, it's too late now. <laughs> I don't think Brett needs to know my answer at like 2 a.m. But so, you know. Oh, I wonder if I can. All right, Alundra. Are you there? Can I kill the tentacles with this hammer? Yeah, I'm knitting a garment. It feels a little bit, you know, feels a little bit fancy. For the dog jumper that I'm knitting. I can't kill them. Okay. Need an item. I didn't know whether the item might be the hammer. Let's check every single room. We've been in this room. We can find them. Hoping that I didn't leave it in the hallway. Like the, the, the first hallway that we came in. And by morning I've forgotten the answer. Oh my god, yes. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Um, like. Red asked me how many toes I had. And then I'm, I'm fully asleep thinking 13, 13, 13. And then I wake up the next morning. And I'm like, oh, what a wonderful morning. And I don't, you know, I don't remember what I was trying to, yeah. A little bit of salt. Does um, salt kill snails as well? No, for no particular reason, just wondering. Oh. <laughs> it brutally kills them. Wonderful. Why Haley doesn't go to McDonald's? A famous Irish poet. There we go. Oh, I looked it up and I was thinking of the wrong. <laughs> I don't think I did any Irish poets. I think because it was um. I know I don't mean to say it's don't don't mean to sound sassy when I say this because I think it's going to sound sassy. I think because it was English literature, it was only spe like specifically England. Um, yeah, I was worried it would sound sassy, me being like, well, it's English literature, not Irish literature. No, I think they were very particular about it only being English. Um, because there was a couple of modules on, on American literature where you could do, like, T.S. Eliot. I think he was an American, wasn't he? Yeah, no salt, Haley. They're doing, um... Squishmallow Happy Meals, if anyone's uh, interested in your latest Happy Meal update. Oh, Samuel Beckett! 
he was Irish? Yeah, in the UK they they're doing Halloween themed squishmallow. Yes. Oh, T. S. Eliot. Oh. Oh, hang on. Oh, I think we're just back with the tentacles. Oh, I did the other one. The other T. S. Eliot. George Eliot. Is that the one? The other famous American. The other one that that had the surname Eliot. So when they uh, when they said English literature, I I thought that they meant just in the English El uh, English Elliot English language. Okay, we just found. Um. No, I think it was George Eliot. Is George Eliot American? What did T. S. Eliot write? stalls in this toilet. Just urinals. Wonder if maybe the holes are big enough for you to take a shit in the air. <laughs> what <am I> <laughs> Mark Twain? Oh, was born in okay, Missouri, but got British citizenship later on. I think that I was right with T.S. Eliot. I don't think he was included on my English literature course because he, he was American. Empty. I don't think I've got a, a key either. <laughs> yeah, I think I think uh Wish this game would get a remake, the PS1 graphics haven't aged well. Honestly, I'm really surprised it hasn't gotten a remake. Don't I wouldn't put it past in maybe a few years for them to make it. Like, they made the Dead Space remake when that, I feel like, didn't need a remake. Oh, don't worry, Darth. <laughs> Darth, don't worry. Am I gonna do what? Two and three? Um, oh, this is bloody music. Maybe there's something I'm missing in here. Uh, maybe eventually, but so we do Spooktober, which is where I play spooky games for the entire month of October because I'm a very scared person and <laughs> I don't play spooky games mostly other than maybe there's something in one of the washers. I'll check all of them. Just dryers. Oh, maybe they're just dryers, no washers. I tend not to play a lot of spooky games other than during um, October. We'll all be dead by the time you solve this. I am stuck. I think we might be. All right. Can I have a hint? I'm back in the save room. <laughs> hmm. Cute, cute. I wonder if um, I wonder if it's something you ate, Darth. I might be able to deal with them already. So I got a, unless it's the flowros, a plastic bottle, blood pack. These are all my items. Yeah, we, so we did seventh guest last year. Oh, did we do it and eleventh hour last year as well? I don't think I want to drink the blood pack. You know, just something about a blood pack doesn't go, mmm, delicious. It was both. I can't take a breath without seeing Mr. Death. Na na na. Na 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 na. No. I won't. So, unless a game surprises me with a spooky doll section, it's not, um. 
not going to be intentional. So this game has creepy children in it, which is dull adjacent. I'm not playing against him. Fuck! <laughs> I am. Oh, God. I remember my uh, grandmother having, uh, like, China dolls. And they always used to frighten me. She had... Whenever I stayed at my grandparents, they'd have to remove the dolls from the spare bedroom. Let's try and find the tentacles. Ah, American citizen from 1888 to 1927. He and his family moved to England. Later, he renounced his American citizenship and became a British citizen. Couldn't hold them both the same time, or was he just so, like, he so hated America that he was like, no, I'm going to renounce it regardless. It doesn't matter to me that I can hold both. I just want to get rid of this one. So we've got a... I don't know if I could maybe, like... Oh, pre-packet pizza. You know, pre-packet pizza always makes me get the shits as well. Maybe it's cherry. Do you never really like them? Do you remember when cherry aid was a big thing in uh in like the two thousands? Everyone was chugging cherry aid. America makes you pay taxes as long- No. You can't just tax someone who doesn't live in the country. You... But they... You can't... <laughs> you don't live there. I Grizzle, I know, right? Bread. Bananas. <laughs> that's it, that's the list. <laughs> I'd hope then, if I held a dual citizenship, I say I lived in, I don't know, Switzerland, and I'm dual citizenship with America. I'd hope that I could call the American police department and they would come and save me. If I've been paying taxes, and I'm getting mugged in Switzerland. <laughs> I'd expect the American police officers to get on a fucking plane. And come Time and save to me. Throw more tea in the harbor. I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready, breakfast. I'm ready. Oh, no. There we go. Back. I'm going to try just throwing shit on this, these tentacles. <laughs> oh. I thought this was the tentacle room, is it not? Ah. Think any, is there any other country that charges you taxes? <laughs> you have to pay real money to use the shitter. You don't want to see the toilets that you don't have to pay real money for drunk. To be honest, to be honest the ones that you do have to pay money for still look like shit as well. So we've got some chemicals. I wonder if he'll find them a bit more useful now. Filled with some kind of drug. Why don't I just drug the tentacles? I reckon there's one other country. That's my guess. I reckon... Hmm, where do I think would also make you pay taxes? Oh, is one of three countries, Eritrea, if I'm saying that right, and North Korea. 
Did it be my first guess? I'm a little bit stuck, if I'm honest, Pixels. I'm kind of... I don't know where the stupid fucking elevator is. <laughs> it's unfair to charge people rummage in your pockets for loose change when your prairie dog in is a tourist. <laughs> Should have gone before you left, drunk. Is this the... Where is the elevator? I know it's one of the double doors. It would. It would, Alundra. Honestly, it would. But, you know... That's the kind of dream that we can't achieve here. I just... I get confused because sometimes he gets all turned around. Okay. Which floor was it on? Was it on floor two? I think it was on floor two. I think. Oh, really, Kate? <laughs> and that's when I became a citizen of Switzerland. Oh, it's locked. Is this not where the tentacles are? It would just, you know, it would help if we had a map. Oh dear. So my system tends to be like zigzag so that we cover all of this is the basement we don't want to be in the basement it's an artistic decision Fucking artists. <laughs> I w how do I get to the tentacles? Am I on the right floor? I might save. Seeing as I'm in a safe space. Second floor, okay. Is that where I am? I think I'm on the first floor. Room furthest from the elevator on the second floor, okay. I'm looking for the stairwell, if anyone's wondering. Whereabouts is Eric? Freya. Freya? Freya? Stairwell. Stairs. Africa, East Coast. Okay, I can picture it. Above Ethiopia. Is it um, quite high altitude like Ethiopia is? Right. Turn left. And then just go down to the end. I'm on the right level at least. So there's this slab here as well. Slate, nothing more than that. Oh. I wonder, maybe it just wants some blood. Closer. Don't mind if I just nudge a bit closer. Ball, ball. 
You want it? Oh, a delicious snack. Wow. Yeah. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Lovely. Oh, delicious. Kane, are you saying that I should ask the government for an exemption? Because of... <laughs> The high level of entertainment that I provide. And then I think it's third floor that we need to get to with the little slots and then we have to put them in order. Looks pretty mountainous. I like how this is a... Uh, <laughs> learn about Eritrea now. I wonder if it's a nice place to visit. Dominated by an extension of Ethiopian north-south trending highlands descending on the east to a coastal desert plain on northwest to hilly terrain and southwest to flat rolling plains. Because I know um, Ethiopia usually um, has really good long distance runners because they can train at altitude all the time. Hmm. Is it? Am I on the third floor right now? We'll be able to see if the end of A little bit of everything. Yeah, a little bit of desert, a little bit of coast, a little bit of mountains, a little bit of tax. Yeah, it's full through. Cheeky bit of tax. How would one nominate a certain streamer for an OBE? Just uh, mention another another streamer. Grim Reapers Liz, Lydia Findlay, 35. 60, Trevor F. White. 18, Albert Lords. 45, Roberta T. Morgan. 38, Edward C. Briggs. I presume that's maybe like the developers or something. Now let's go into every single door and see if we can... No, that's jammed. It's jammed. Oh, jam in me door. Oh. Let's try this one. Right, and I'm sure there's like a method to this, like clouds flowing over a hill, sky on a sunny day, tangerines that are bitter, lucky four-leaf clover, violets in the garden, dandelions As a decorated nation of treasure like yourself, I will... David? David, you were going to say something nice? You were... David was like, I can't bring myself to say something nice. I can't. I she can't to oh. to contracts to see if uh, if you can get some sort of exemption or maybe one of those nice badges that say Captain Badgertail is the official Twitch streamer of the crown. Thank you, David. Thank you very much, Pixels. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> you know, you would never notice. <laughs> Charles was like, shut up, David. Okay, let's, uh, I'm sure there's like, there is definitely a method to like where this is supposed to go, but we'll just put them in the city. This is right. Yeah. Okay. Can I just remove all of them? <laughs> They're actually talking about me ma uh, making me David Attenborough's replacement. Ah, 
Flight of the Bumblebee, presented by Badger Attenborough. I did see that there was a B-movie game on uh, PlayStation 3 that was pretty popular. <laughs> came to my mind. Queen of Hearts, Mad Hatter, Turtle, the Mock Turtle, and the Cheshire Cat. Okay. Planet Badger. Planet of the Badgers. Sky on a sunny day, tangerines that are bitter. Lucky four-leaf clover, violets in the garden, dandelions along the path, unavoidable sleeping time, liquid flowing from a slash wrist. I don't really understand. There's, there's four points that I can put. Cloud flowing over the hill. You could say that's like blue over green, but we don't have a blue, uh, don't have a green square. Um, not too bad, loss. Um, my, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, uh, I have a poop today. Unavoidable sleeping time, like a cat nap. <gasps> oh no, have I got to like? Clouds flowing over a hill. Um. Mad Hatter. Queen of Hearts. Like a ruler flowing over a hill. Um. Marriage adoption. Marriage. Wait, how do you know I wasn't born into the Attenborough family, eh? Hmm. Sky on a sunny blit a sunny day. Clear blue. Like an azure colour. So we had mock turtle mm -hmm. some intermarriage in your family you have to use the wave at the beach <laughs> yeah it'd be grey but um so we had mad hatter we had mock turtle uh mock turtle Turtle, Cheshire, and Queen. Hmm. Mm, I saw that they were bringing out some My Little Pony ones with uh, Magic the Gathering as well. I'm not super... I've played Magic a couple of times. Um, Greg is a... <laughs> I don't know how you would say it. A... Uh, is, is, is remission the right way? <laughs> He hasn't played Magic in a very long time. He was really into it um, when he was younger. He's in remission. That's the word. <laughs> yeah. We were tempted by the Lord of the Rings set, actually. Just because I like the I like Lord of the Rings. Oh, they're not official. I thought they, I got lied to by the internet again, drunk. We'll all be dead by the time you solve this. We will be, Bread. We will be. What is a tangerine that's bitter, Bread? Hmm? Now you have to answer that. Hmm? Bread, thank you. Green. Grapefruit? Lemon? Maybe it's just not ripe, yeah. So what would not be ripe? Careful you don't slip and fall. <laughs> Pixels, thank you. I believe the answer to the riddle is Ow! Women! Queen of Hearts, like green, a green tangerine. A lucky floor, fully clover. That's green. Leprechaun. Gold. I 
Irish. I is any of the characters in <laughs> Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland Irish? Violets in the garden. That would be the the queen, right? Dandelions along the path. Unavoidable sleeping time. Nap. And liquid flowing from a slashed wrist. What am I supposed to get from that? Like red? Blood? Um, Oopsie-daisy? Accident? You know, cooking accident? This is the 2000s, so they might be like going for a mad. Like... like madness so mad hatter you think i'm trying to get colors but i've only got i guess is that green all right is that green or blue lads i'd say it was blue bet you all are gonna say it's green badger it's green green okay mint green i'd say it was blue Even you're saying green sect, mint, teal. Yeah, I would say it was a turquoise, to be honest. But I would still say it was on the side of blue. Hmm. Yeah, the blue isn't the one next to it. Bathroom green. Yeah, it's got... No, I'd say it was the swimming pool blue. Yeah, it's kind of a Mr. West... Yeah, I'd say Mr. West is blue. If the game says it's green. Yeah, it might be green in the game. But. So clouds over a rolling hill, which are white. Right? Clouds are white. As far as I know, I'm not colorblind. I always pass those colorblind tests quite uh, successfully. Now, what colour is that on the the le uh, the right, then? Is that you're going to be like, oh, that's brown, Badger. Is it brown or is it orange? Like a tangerine that isn't ripe. It's orange. Terracotta. I'd actually agree with that, it being terracotta. Orange green. <laughs> so we've got... <laughs> okay, I've got a guess for this one. So it was violets... In the garden, dandelions in the path, which I reckon is here. The weird colour walk through. Walk through white. Sky on a sunny day, which is blue. Tangerines that are bitter, orange. Lucky four leaf clover, blue. Purple. Yellow. Black, because when you sleep it's dark. And then red. Okay. I think I've solved it. Which way round was it? Tangerines are green. I think it was this way round. Green. Yeah, tangerine is bitter if you're a monster and you see the skin. I did like when I was a kid. I did like to just just munch, just munch the skin a bit. You know, just have a little taste. Because they put orange peel in things, you know, you like orange cake, you get the zest. Does it work? The all you guys that didn't believe I could do it. You were wrong. Oh, there's another one. Another one of those damn women around the corner. <laughs> oh, I only took one here. Oh. 
I think the green women are stronger than the blue women. <laughs> I did, I did. Oh, they're like the like matrons, are they called? The grey women, they're just old. Where's the other one? I can hear her. I can hear her waddling about. Oh, me. It's not that easy being green, <laughs> having to spend each day the color of the leaves. When I think it could be nicer being red, or yellow, or gold, or something much more colorful like that. It's not easy being green. That's really, that's really heartfelt. That's beautiful. Thank you, Pixels. Thank you. That's quite emotional from Kermit, isn't it? You know, Kermit's really going through some stuff. Oh, what colour nurse would I be? Um, one that got fired on the first day because she didn't like the sight of blood. It's not easy. It's not easy to be Kermit in a world full of Elmos, is it? What was everybody else's favourite Sesame Street or Muppets character? Did you know that Miss Piggy can only count to 68? When she gets to 69, she gets a frog in her throat. That was beautiful. It's beautiful. My favorite Sesame Street slash Muppets character was Big Bird. Was Big Bird or uh, I did quite like the Cookie Monster. All those old men that would complain about everything. I quite like the cookie monster, I identified. The elephant, the guest, the bird. I also really liked um, Groucho, Groucho, the green, the green bin, bin man. Loved him. And the count as well. You know, the count was uh, landed, which was nice, he was a nice land landed gentleman. Rainbow Connection is attributed to Kermit, Kermit instead of Jim Henson. Yeah. Kermit is real. Kermit's real in here. Oh, the piano playing dog. Oh, yeah, Oscar. Oscar the Grouch. I really liked him. <laughs> is that, um... Is that who he's named after? This is why you should get your children microchipped. Yeah, why don't we microchip children? <laughs> Probably because it's illegal and weird. It's a very good point, but like solve problems like this wouldn't it that's it thank you thank you thank you for the thinker as well because they're not pets but you know it would mean they wouldn't go missing and 
you know. I suppose, I suppose if every kid was, yeah. If every kid was microchipped, then everybody would know that the kid was microchipped. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm overthinking this. Maybe I was. What was the bottle I picked up? Disinfectant. Picked up some disinfectant. We got a basement storeroom Careful key. you don't slip and fall. <laughs> Thank you, Darth. Thank you. We've got disinfectant, lighter, health drinks, obviously. Uh, we've got a key, various weapons. Mm hmm. Oh. Yeah. They can uh, check to see your allergies, emergency contact. They're a clever idea, Tetsu. I suspect people wouldn't like it, but I do, you know. Silent Hill has surprised me with being a lot of a lot more of a puzzle game. I feel like, yeah. So good idea in I think in in theory, if that makes sense. I think it's a good idea. If not, if not, not to be a bad idea. Mm. I was ready to go. What do we got? An empty bottle. Hmm? <laughs> Galax, how long is the recovery period for it? That's true, yeah. Let alone a fancy microchip. I think it's a legal requirement in the UK for dogs to be microchipped. As well. Let's game it out. Good morning. Would you like a microchip? <laughs> it's not going to expand what it's for, just, you know. How long is the recovery period, Felix? Do you expect? Not that we're handing out free ones, just, you know. Ten. Whoa. That's a lot of chips. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Women. I'm still alive, I wonder if the Grey Nurse Hottie would be interested in me. Oh please no. Oh, oh my god! Oh. Thank you, Drunk. Thank you. I don't like the fact that that sounds like it was said through a mouthful of vomit. I mean, we've all been there. Is there nothing else in here? You know, not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but... Shit. There is a few new voices. I'm hoping to be back in the office Monday. That's not too bad. It's a good amount of time to play and finish Spider-Man as well. Yeah, <laughs> the microchip is part of... The, uh, the cookout <laughs> welcome package. You get microchipped. It is something to pick out of your teeth when you're eating the uh, weenies. Some kind of drug, leave that be. Drunk, thank you very much. <laughs> I, look I look forward to it. <laughs> Nothing inside. Well, then why put it? I feel like this is a bit of a disappointment of a room. Yeah, sure, we got a health item, but... What do we... This is the only Silent Hill to have docs to doctor monsters. I suppose it maybe wasn't a, um, a job that most doctors wanted to go into. <laughs> yeah, no, no politics, obviously, Darth. Yeah, I, 
just I just want something interesting from every room, you know? Oh, when are we going to get floor four? Because surely that's where I'm supposed to be heading. I don't know where to go now. Mm. Oh, oh, she is cold. Hang on, lads. She's cold. <laughs> oh, what a little angel. get much better <laughs> I can tell she's cold because she's like wrapped herself in like a little um like a little cinnamon bun oh, she's chilly I need a swim if that sweater faster I do I do I did get a new key I got the basement storage key but the basement storage was shit. Is it this one? Not this room. A second one layered upside down like a cake. That's this. I've tried. I'm in the basement. Where's this key? There's the basement key. <gasps> a giveaway lads exclamation mark enter in chat for the chance to win an action cap if i can pin it i can't pin it i can only reply to the message which isn't my deal thank you very very much anonymous thank you so much thank you we do have all new merch up in the uh, in the merch store it is the uh, the cookout collection. If you want a chance to win a generously gifted action cap, which is a little a little dad cap, Fred. Thank you, Fred. Thank you very much for pinning that for me. For some reason I couldn't. I just wouldn't let me. Clicky, click it, dear. Thank you very much for pinning it, Fred. Exclamation mark! Enter in chat. It's a very nice looking hat. I hope it looks nice as well. It does. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. I hope you guys. I hope you like it. Yeah, and you like it. Mm hmm. So for in to be in a chance for entering, to be in a chance to enter, to be to enter into a chance of getting exclamation mark enter in chat, and one of you will be picked at random. Mm hmm very much thank you oh my gosh i see i see i understand hang on hang on and i just solved a puzzle look at that yes I'm mm -hmm. this hat will ensure that you are prepared for any action that occurs do feel free to read the flavor text added to each item as well. I really feel like it paints a picture. It, uh, it creates a story. <laughs> I'm like, read the flavor text. <laughs> I wrote that. Looks like a hallway under the grate. Can't move it since the vines have grown around it. Could I maybe use my lighter? <laughs> it'll prepare you for any action no the fire goes out as soon as i try ah oh, disinfectant yeah alcohol then lighter
drunk. Good night. Good night. I hope that you have a wonderful sleep. A lovely dreamies. Lovely dream. See you later. I'll see you tomorrow. Who is that? Duh. Congratulations. Congratulations. And thank you very much to the unnamed and un certainly unknown generous person who bought the cap to gift and chat. Thank you, women. Lots of women. Thank you very, very much. Oh. Do you get scared for not typing an uppercase? I don't think it minds if you don't type an uppercase. Oh. At least it hasn't before. And a big congratulations, stuff. I don't think it minds. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. Oh. It might mind if you misspell it, though. Oh. Door is jammed. This door can't be open. This is what the mods look like when they ban people with the ban hammer. <laughs> Get off! Get off! What's on their back? I don't know. It's like some weird baby. I don't know if it's like a parasite, maybe? I like the sand colour. I was a very big proponent of... <laughs> Greg was like, Badger, what colour do you want as like the, the main picture? And I was like, sand. Sand one, please. Okay, it's alright. Ah! It's alright. Don't panic, badge. I can't see anything. Oh, there's nothing in here. <laughs> oh! Anything from Asta? They have really good cinnamon rolls. So, one of those, please. No way. I think the PlayStation 3 is retro, but only some of the games on it. I think it does. Oh, videotape. There was a VHS player upstairs. I think the PlayStation 3 is retro, but not all of the games on it are retro. The later PlayStation 3 games probably aren't. I always go by the 15 year rule. If it's got, if it's 15 years old, then yes, retro. If it's older than 15, then yes, retro. Younger than 15, not retro. Not retro, but sometimes I do stretch my rule if the game is particularly ugly. <laughs> if the game's ugly and looks looks retro, then I'll, s <laughs> I'll sometimes squeeze a couple of years un uh, under for looks it. Looks like someone's been here. Like, if it's, like, 13 years old and ugly. Alyssa, that kind of looks like my kid! Look. Doesn't it? <laughs> I'm presuming you guys can see this. I'm retro, we're all retro together. Yeah. No, I know what you mean. I know what you mean, Yannis. It is, um... Like, especially when it's the console that you've kind of grown up with and it doesn't look that bad. It's not that ugly. Um, but some of the older PlayStation 3 games are pretty ugly. Like the B-movie, PlayStation 3 movie. Uh, PlayStation 3 games pretty ugly. It looks pretty retro. 
Maybe it would be my... Maybe this is going to be my mum. No, my wife's mother, maybe. Ah, oh, just like my auntie, she's 40, but so ugly, so I see she's like... Oh my god. <laughs> just say it about anyone ugly, just say, oh, you're retro. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Maybe my daughter's adopted? Maybe, but maybe it's just her mum. Maybe her mum's called Alyssa. We don't know what her name is. And they do keep mentioning my dead wife. Not that, like, you know, not that they shouldn't. I'm sure that's a, uh, that was, you know, a pretty uh, formative memory of mine. But they do keep bringing her up, even though she's not in the game. Mm. Like you're roasting weenies at night, girl. You forget to take a picture when it comes as well. I want to see it. <laughs> yeah, I still I think the CRT TVs. So, uh, I sorry, I forgot room, what room this was. Maybe she is in the game. She's dead though, so she, she shouldn't be, but she might be. That's this room. Right, I think we can leave now. I think we can go watch the videotape. I don't remember which floor the videotape thingy, thingy was. Oh, yeah. I require all of my... Uh, all of my horror games to have some form of mum in them. Yeah, we got a uh, VHS, a blooded, bloody videotape. Nothing on the label found in the second floor hospital basement. What if it's like someone's sex tape? Horror MILF 3, what about Horror MILF 1 and 2 though? Should I not play them in order? Mummies are also okay. I like archaeology, they're kind of fun. It's, it's kind of fun. Alright, I am gonna take a um, spoiler. Examination room. Oh. Which floor's the video, be the VHS player on? Is it the second floor? I think it's the second floor. Yeah, so we've got a VHS tape and a key for an examination room. I think it's... <laughs> Who was that moment? So I think that was Alyssa. We saw her at the school as well. Mm -hmm. Graveyard Keeper, 65% off on GOG. The third floor? I'm off. I'm off. It's quite a big discount. What, um, is it uh, GOG's Halloween sale then? Or autumn sale, sorry. Mmm, cozy autumn sale. When is the Steam Autumn sale? Does anyone know? I don't mind checking any of the, all of the ones. According to the verge of the Steam Autumn sale, it's November 21st? It's quite late. Is that later than usual? That feels late. Are they trying to get the Black Friday? Like, trying to scoop, scoop the Black Friday sale. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you 
Was that you, Darth? Was that you? Was that you claiming your claiming your action cap? Thank you very much. I hope you like it. Yeah, I hope you like it. Oh, I think I'm next to the. Oh, there's a Scream Fest sale on October 26th as well. That makes sense. So like a mini, mini spooky sale in October. Yeah. Big autumn sale. I was almost there, I know. I, I'm pretty sure it was close to the birdcage room. Mini spooky sale, big autumn sale. Because then they have their Christmas sale in December, don't they? Or are they not going to do their Christmas sale this year? Here? I fucking loved. I loved the flash deals. I would sit there. When they started, the like, oh, 6 p.m., all the new games that go up for sale. That was so exciting. <laughs> it made the whole week like an event. Like I'd be sitting, I sat, I remember sat on my PC or my laptop, waiting. Yeah, every day at 6 p.m. Being like, oh my god, is the game I want gonna be on sale? And then you'd go through, and it was so much, oh my god, I just keep going in the same rooms over and over again. I... And I found it easier to go through save uh, all of the sale items as well because you could almost see everything that was on sale. Whereas when uh, Steam just dumps all of the sale items at once, we got there. Uh, it's kind of like, oh, you know, I can't really browse the entire sale section. I suppose why would you want to, right? But. Still unusual fever. Don't get pulse. Just bare. Skin is. Even when I ch... Zing throw. Why? Chilled. If it jump scares me, I'm not gonna be happy. Won't tell. Please. I got that, yeah, sure. Aha. Uh -huh. Got all of that. Oh, I'm sure the city skyline's um I'm sure it'll be in the next sale. When is the new game coming out? Is it November? Now we've got an examination room key as well, which I'm not sure. Where the examination room might be? I feel like you wouldn't put an examination room in the basement. Right? You wouldn't. It's important that I keep adding games to my mountain of unplayed Steam titles. How will I cultivate my guilt and bias remorse otherwise? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> How will... You fund Gabe's lifestyle if you don't keep buying games you don't need from Steam. Pixels, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. I would love to know where the examination room is, because I will just run around like a headless chicken. First floor. That's I feel like I'd yeah, I'd put an examination room on the first floor as a, you know, hospital designer myself. <laughs> That's where I'd put it. I think I'm going the wrong way, but if I just <laughs> run this way. Oh, no. Ooh. Uh, so, uh, like uh, original hardware fog or uh, like new hardware? I've been getting a bit of a City Skylines hankering recently. Not sure if I'd want to stream it. I'd want to stream the second one. Alright, let's check all the doors now. See if any of them open. 
the world famous hospitals designed by Badger. Which ones were those again? World famous. <laughs> well, look, I've designed quite a few hospitals in Team Hospital, I have you know. Theme Hospital, what was the other gate? The um the new version of Theme Hospital. Thank you. Two point hospital. Maybe we should play two I don't know. I really enjoy two point hospital. Or uh like I so I had the original theme hospital on my PC and I thought that two point hospital did a really good job uh making it but new. I thought they did a really good job. They kept all the fun, they kept all the weird, um like, you know, those big big head big heads. Hospital trauma. No, I, I don't know. No, actually, no digits. I don't know. Oh, has it got loads of DLC? You can tell how long it's been since I played it. I think I got it when it first came out, or maybe after the first sale. Are they worth it, Doom Doom? <gasps> She's there. She's there. She is there. I assure you. <laughs> that mound of blankets, that's her. <laughs> you can see it breathing. She's having the best fucking nap of her life. Nice and dark. She's all cozy. <laughs> yeah. I love her. She's such a sweetheart. I'm making her a little jumper. I'm making her a jumper so because it's getting cold. Little jumper. I'd do anything for her. I love her so much. She's hiding. She's gonna be a rat bag after the snooze. So when she snoozes, when it's completely dark, she falls into quite a deep sleep. Um, and then obviously she gets the zoomies after it because obviously, right? <laughs> it's obviously. And um, yeah, she's a real asshole afterwards. Maybe this is where the examination room? Unsurprisingly, Tolly's favorite blanket is a Mass Effect blanket. Oh, so cute. Fog, that's so so cute. You should get her the um I've got the afterlife pillow down there for Suze. Um you can just see just you just see it just in the corner. And she fucking loves it. She loves it. It was the first thing we kind of we got because we were like, oh, you know, the dog bed's gonna be on camera. Be nice to have like a little bit of um kind of spacey old oh, is she a is she a rend and tear kind of person? Person dog. Yeah. Okay. Understandable, understandable. Suze is quite polite. I missed a door? I must have missed one singular door inside another room. This doesn't seem like good hospital design, all right? Step through the laundry room to get examined, please. Hi, all. Happy Monday. This room? You know, I suppose the corridors are quite wide. That's good. You can fit a good few gurneys down here. Big kitchen. Lots of space to make shit hospital food. I've always wondered, actually, um, how is the hospital food in America? He is a sensei now? Kyle, oh, congratulations. So exciting. He, all of his, like, Christmas gifts and birthday cards and stuff better be to sensei. It is atrocious. 
Is it atrocious everywhere? Oh, hang on, I can run a poll for that. Is hospital food good or bad in your country? I feel like it would be good in Germany. I don't know why. Is it not? I just feel like, you know, everybody says German efficiency. Yeah, I just feel like they, you know, be really efficient in the kitchen. I don't know. <laughs> Norway? Good hospital food? Lads vote in the poll. Did it? Did, have I polled it? I think I polled it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe somewhere in Asia? Ah, oh, apparently the... I think hospital food is quite nice in Japan. Mm. Oh yeah, Darth, Darth did. Was the lucker boy. You've had good hospital food in the UK. Was that at like the hospital cafe? Or was that at like the... Like the hospital cafes aren't too bad. They just must not like you. <laughs> probably because my allergies. It is probably because my allergies, so they have to give me special hospital food. Yeah. Just so you want to leave the hospital sooner to get some better food. I know a lot of people that like smuggle in food for their family members. What's bad about the food? It's usually just shit. It's usually just bad. Where the absolute ass is this stupid examination room? Yeah? No. Thank you very much for the chat, love. Thank you. Oh, I need to vote as well. So for some reason my vote is at my um which chat isn't showing me the poll? I can't. I would. Uh, yeah, it guides me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for getting yourself a mug and another item. An undisclosed other item. Oh, we reload the page. Oh. Well, refresh if you want to see the poll. Don't worry if you don't. <laughs> Other end of the corridor from the elevator. Go through the door on the right. Mysterious item. Oh my god, there's a door on the right. I see it. And then through here. You don't have to refresh because you might get hit with a pre-roll if you do. <gasps> a woman! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. Was I supposed to feel was I Finally, someone else who's okay. Well, was I supposed to think that that was a reassuring smile? It wasn't. My name's Lisa Garland. What's yours? <laughs> Harry Mason. She looks like she's about to ask me to the cookout. Harry, tell me what's happening here. Where is everybody? Well, I've beaten most of them to death with I a hammer. I must have gotten knocked out. Was it the hammer? When I came to, everyone was gone. It's awful. I am. Uh... So you don't know anything either. Red is good. I just don't get it. It's like this is all some kind of bad dream. Yeah, a living nightmare. Let me ask you, have you seen a little girl around here? Short, black hair, seven years old? Seven years seven old isn't year old a great girl. descriptor. What, she's your daughter? <laughs> yes. No. A seven-year-old girl. <laughs> I can't say that I have. I was unconscious all this time. I'm sorry. Is it beige? <sighs> it's all right. 
piss yellow Do you hospital know anything food. about all that weird stuff in the basement? No. The color Why? of mashed Is potato. There something down there? You don't know? Don't you work here? Imagine if she doesn't. We're under strict orders never to enter the basement storeroom. <laughs> So no, it's just know. a kink. <laughs> what did you say was down there? Well, it's <laughs> got this outfit from the uh from Damn. the costume store. <laughs> My head. What's wrong? <laughs> Harry? Harry. She's gonna have to bludge with me you? in a minute. Harry? Yeah, have you seen a little girl in this haunted demon hospital? Just you know, just asking. Oh was I dreaming? You were too late. Did I take too long? Well, all the doors look the same and the corridors look... I got a bit lost, alright? This is our... Yes, the hot lady Daria, that we quite, we quite like. Oh, Haggis turnip Tell me and potato. You know. What's going on? I guess at least it would be hot, darkness. right? Darkness. <laughs> Looking on the bright the side. The town is being devoured by darkness. Oh, a talent. Strength must overcome That's quite petty good. desire. Talent Wife is a high talk. class. I knew this day. She does look older than her age. She's only 48, lads. 46? What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. Believe the evidence of your eyes. The other forty six town. That is your destination. I made it a ten this minute. This is beyond uh, my abilities. Only you. Can stop it <laughs> Fist. Have you not seen the crest marked on the ground all over town? Oh yeah, I suppose I have. So that's what she doesn't I have any shoes on either. Yard. Walking in this grungy uh, hospital, you think mean? you need some? It is the mark of Samael. Don't let it be completed. Hey, wait. Lads, so I was just about to turn the page. <laughs> I was about to turn the page in the manual because this is where that hot nurse lady is. laugh when he read that capro <laughs> okay Lisa that after I've already started smelling it. I don't know. It doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> yeah, I probably spilled something on it. I probably spilled something on it. Because I'm sure I've seen this page before. I'm sure I've looked at it before. Okay, a nurse uh, on duty at the s hospital. Ordinarily a cheerful woman, but obviously terrified of something at the moment. However, she herself seems to not know what the source of fear that is. And she is 23 years old. The other guy... Uh, I can't really read it. There's cum all over it. Um, No, I shouldn't... Um, I don't... I think I probably stuck something to it. Did I maybe spill some coffee on it? Oh, what? I kind of want to wash my hands. I can't, I don't know. No, I'm sure it's not cum. Cum? 
I'm sure it's not come. Because I'm sure I open. I've I've seen that page before. I'm I'm sure I've I've flicked through it and seen that page before. But I can't think of what on earth I would have spilt on it that would be sticky. Because I. I don't know what I would have spilled on it that was sticky. Like all I, I have had a, I, I did have a Mauwam, but that wouldn't cause the stick. Maybe it's a scratch and sniff. I do you like how you guys were like, don't sniff it after I've already started smelling it? Mauwam spunk. <laughs> Is that their new line of sweets? A Suzu's chicken wing still frozen for the section of Bajamar. <laughs> Without a doubt. She is heating up. Oh my god, look! Oh, the baby! <laughs> She's like, no, don't show my face, mommy. Oh. Oh! <laughs> it's sniffer galoots. Go away, I am sleeping. Five more mini. I must sleep for longer, mummy. Oh, this looks less scummy than it was before. She looks so cozy and warm as well. All right, tell me which of you wouldn't have smelt the page. All right, you. I know you all would have. You're not gonna lie to me and say when you come across something sticky, you don't smell it. What are you eating, Doomsday? Is it sticky? <laughs> What um, what item? What item did you did you get from the menu? I personally like a chicken chow mein, or a special fried rice, or sweet and sour like pork balls or chicken balls. Oh, oh. Oh, delicious. Now I'm in the mood. Oh, look at that heart rate. <laughs> now I get the map right at the end. I don't think that there was any way to get the map prior, though. We could uh, go have a little look around. But I'm not actually... Now I'm kind of... I feel like I'm done here. A bammy or... Barmy, bar maybe? I'm not as big of a fan of Indian takeaway as I am of Chinese takeaway. Maybe it's because I've had more Chinese takeaway than Indian takeaway. I also find it a little bit harder with my allergies to have um, Indian takeaway because I tend to use um, like cashew nuts. Maybe a Chinese takeaway also uses Bread. They, they, you, I can't help it. It's all about takeaway. Not even a boss fight. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of a bit sussy. Maybe I should go up and just have a little peepo. Oh, did she? Okay. Was it that blue thing that I did try and pick up, but didn't think I. It wouldn't pick up, and then I just thought, oh, it's not that item. I see it. I see it. Or, or McDonald's. Antique shop key. I'm just gonna have a little peepo upstairs. The green thing. The blue thing. Now that was clearly green. Definitely a shade of green. Mmm. A Szechuan duck. I've, um, I remember having. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello. Seeing Hello. your lovely dog reminded me of a thing I did at the weekend. I took a stuffed dog to the Antiques Roadshow and was told, this is extremely rare. Do you know what it would fetch in good condition? Not really sure, I said. Maybe a stick? I was genuinely a little bit worried about where that was going. I... <laughs> I was a little bit worried for a second, but it went it went in the r complete right direction. Beetle, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Happy Friday. Yeah, it's just that they wouldn't let me pick it up for the first time I kind of clicked on it. You know, I'm just going to leave. There's going to be nothing else here. I just leave. Stick? Well, Amy's very good at TTS reading. We're probably done here. You know what? I'll be honest. I did actually think that you'd been to the Antique Roadshow as well. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. <laughs> you just love watching the Antiques Roadshow. I used to love watching... Oh my god. The light fade in people's eyes. Hang on, did I save? I think I did. As they realized that their grandma's antique lamp was actually worth a fiver. Rather than the like 500 pounds that they clearly thought it was worth when they fought for it in the inheritance. Got it. Ah! There was two of you! <laughs> Howdy, yes! Oh. Harry. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> today's copper prices. Tacos. Good morning as well. Happy Friday. You know what? Fuck it. We're just going to run. I don't know why we're doing. Oh, God. Oh. Monday. It's Monday. It's Happy Monday, not Friday. Noise. It sounds like my stomach, but I've eaten too many beans. Yeah, <laughs> someone is vacuuming. This time of night. <laughs> oh, I wonder. Is that Carl Sagan from Back to the Future? Oh, yeah, post office, I see. Priority post as well. Police? Maybe we should go see the police. <laughs> Streaming the garden at 4 a.m. <laughs> I suppose it's quite a good time to do it, really. Because no one's going to file a noise complaint because no one's going to believe that someone is genuinely doing it at that time. They're going to think that they're dreaming, think that they're hearing things. Oops. <laughs> Double, dual wielding. We call that in the strimmer biz. Can go in the post office? Currency exchange as well. 
take out our holiday money. Yeah, maybe it was a contest. <laughs> All right, Paul, you stream that side and I'll stream this side and we'll see who finishes first. Go. Well, so we've been to the church. Uh, let's go to the police. Big old post office. I want the <laughs> the postal worker outfit, ladies. The green key was for the antique store, which is somewhere. It's actually down there. Um, but I kind of want to just see if there's the, the police lady is back at the police store. The police store? Yeah, the store where you buy police. <laughs> oh! God. It's so ugly. It's okay. Police lady. Police lady. Oh, some gun ammo. That's nice. It's like Mary Kate now. Mary Kate and Ashley Magical Mystery Mall. I can zoom in on the map, but <laughs> if you can read that, then um. Oh wow! Would that make it okay, Beetle? I mean, you wouldn't go um go and stop them, would you? If you looked out your window and saw someone like mowing your lawn. I'd be like, have at it. I don't care that it's like 2 a.m. Yeah, cheer them on. Maybe the map is a puzzle. There's a memo on the desk. Coroner seals called. Officer Gucci. <laughs> Officer Gucci. Is unlikely to be murdered. He apparently died naturally. But medical records show, show Officer Gucci had no prior symptoms of heart disease. You could say he wasn't Gucci. That's the thing that the people say, right? They say, are you feeling Gucci? I don't know what it means, but... There's something on it. Product only available in selected areas of Silent Hill. Raw material is white Claudia, a plant peculiar to the region. Manufactured here, dealer equals manufacturer. Commissioner Prada. Makes sense, the devil does wear Prada and there's lots of demons in this town. The fashion, the fashion police. It's one of those jokes, Hummer, that I wish I'd made myself because that was good. That was really good. Yeah. Can I maybe go behind? That would be illegal. Okay, well, nice, uh, nice to stop off in the police station. Where shall we head next? Hope the monsters just wait while I get my fucking map out. Uh, so we've got the post office. We've got a random red building down there that we could... Uh, oh, the vacuumers are back, or the streamers are back. Something in the bottom right that we could go peepo at. Does it say tea room underneath it? Something sales. Oh yeah, the top. We'd have to go next to the town center though. Zoom in. Oh. 
forgotten to watch the Zoom there again. <laughs> no, it's only... There's only Zoom or no Zoom. It's one or the other. I think I ran the wrong way. Which way am I going? I did. I did indeed run the wrong way. But it might be helpful to pop over here, establish that I can't go this way. Oh, yeah. Zigzag. Zigzag. Zigzag like you're on Game of Thrones. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, good morning. It's Monday today. I say that with a bit of triumph because I've been saying it's Friday all day. Seems I just can't come to terms with the fact that it's Monday. Where am I going? Um, you know, just for jog. I'm improving our stamina. Don't mind. Don't mind me. I've got a plan. Oh, we've got a friend! <laughs> Thank you. I feel like that was made even better by the way that Harry just awkwardly runs. Just waddles. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cardia beats chaos. You know, look, if I was a demon, I don't think I'd really want to do cardio either. I think I'd be pretty frightened of it. Someone who runs as much as Harry? No, thank you. He has to be. I feel like if I was in this situation, I'd just pee, pee anywhere. I'd just pee. I'd pee in the middle of the road. It's not like after all of this, people are going to have a big issue with it, right? Oh, I didn't even need the key. The door's already bloody opened. You'd get attacked by more people while... If you... <laughs> they might be afraid. It's like to mark my territory. I'm asserting dominance over them. I had to keep running with Harry, otherwise I was going to be murdered, Mr. West. You don't want Harry to get got. No. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? It's three. There's nothing special. What a nice shop. <laughs> yeah. Wow, would you guys like the side table or the clock? There's only two items. Oh no, we've got a... I'll be honest. Looks less antique store, more thrift store. Or more like somebody's old storage locker. None of this stuff is of any use. Yeah, like a storage unit. I mean, I wouldn't say it to her face, but this place is an absolute state. Oh yeah, he's got very high trousers that are very tight around the crotch i don't know why he won't move the chairs like why can't i go further back i kind of want to play is that a piano back there Officer Gucci, the fashion police, say your trousers are too tight. What is the point of me being here? He 
you know, it's really nice of her to leave me the key, but... Push it to the side. I don't have my lighter anymore, so I can't burn the place. I guess we could piss in the plastic bottle. Going back to our previous thinkings. Is there actually a puzzle here? Or is it just a room with a save point? Is it like a safe house? Sup, nerds? To tea, you're feeling 22. Thank you very much, Tootie. Happy Friday, Monday. How are you doing? Hmm. I'm contemplating. Okay, I have a spoiler. Is there anything here? This is not rhetorical. I repeat, this is not a rhetorical question. Yeah, I thought it was going to be like seventh uh, seventh guest. What did I ask, Alundra? I can't remember. <laughs> did I ask if there was anything here? I did, right? That was the question that I asked. I forgot what I forgot how I posed the question. I can't remember whether I asked should I just leave or whether I asked is there anything here. To which yes means two very separate things. You pushed you do push this how do I push it like Zelda? Comes out on Thursday. Can't take a breath without seeing Mr. Death Na 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 Oh, if they don't have that song, I cry. I cry. Can't take a breath. Can't see Mr. Death. We'll all be dead by the time you do this. Oh, do I want to put... I would love to push it. What's this? It's a hole. Harry? <gasps> Harry! A woman! Sybil? Oh, I'm glad you're okay. I shouldn't have left you. Things are worse than I thought. It's nuts. What are you doing here? I thought you left town. I saw you go in here, so I followed you. I couldn't get out. All the roads out of town are blocked. It took her a while to get back to me. Cars completely stopped running. The phones and radios are still out too. What about my daughter? Did you see her? No, I think she would have opened up with that. I did see a girl. Oh. <laughs> Was it Cheryl? My bad. <laughs> I only caught a glimpse of her through the fog. I went after her, but she vanished. I don't know about your daughter, but... And you just let her go? Where was it? She vanished, Harry. Bachman Road. She was heading towards the lake. Now don't get excited. It wasn't like she ran off exactly. There was no place for her to go. The road has been obliterated. Take that out of the context. What? So then Cheryl... It was like she was walking on thin air. 
That's not Cheryl, that's Jesus. Hmm? What about you? Anything? Yes, I've met lots yeah, of women. I met this bizarre woman. Her name's Dahlia Gillespie. Do you know her? Dahlia Gillespie. I hope they make an 11th no. guest VR. And? She said something about the town being devoured by darkness. Gibberish like that. Any idea what it means? Cheryl Jesus Mason. Darkness devouring the town? Yeah, I forgot to mention her middle name. Must be on drugs. They sell them to the tourists. The force still can't figure out who's behind it. None of our leads have panned out. And the investigation is stalled. Yeah, how do we know we're not what on drugs? What drug trafficking have to do with all this? Hmm. I really don't know. But maybe that's the darkness she was talking about. That's all I can think of. Well, Sybil, hmm. you were precisely no help, but it's, you know. What's this? Just discovered it. To see you. Maybe there's something back there. Let's have a look. You first. Wait. We don't know what's back there. I'd better check it out first. She's a trained police. I should go. No, I'm going. Harry. Harry. All right. <laughs> I'll cover you from here. Beauty. It's a trained policewoman, Harry. Just let Everything it. looks fishy. Get back here on the double. Okay. Sybil? Yeah. Like how we have no eyes as well. Do you know anything about... Well, like some other world... It's like some kind of bad dream. What are you talking about? I'm not quite sure. I try to make sense of it, but then my mind goes blank. Everything's dark there, and I hear sirens in the distance. Sounds I like met this nurse, cracks. Lisa. Yeah. It's like I was there, but not really. Lisa, you're tearing it's me apart. It's all a blur. Like some kind of hallucination, you know? That sounds like no drugs. What you're talking about, Harry. Yeah, like a hallucination that you get when you're on drugs. Harry. I was yeah. just wondering. You're a tourist, you're on drugs. Never mind. Oh my god, what have we been shooting? You're tired. Yeah, maybe. All right, in we go then. What's he doing here? Just out for a jaunt. Thought I'd swim. Mother by approved. Happy. Thank you very much for the follow. Oh no! And don't tell. Don't even start on what the mole children were in the school that we shot. Oh. What's this? Jesus. Some kind of altar. Never seen anything like this before. Is the altar to Maybe Cheryl? Maybe this is the other church. <laughs> Cheryl looks pretty bad in this picture. But did you say some kind of powder is left in the chalice? Drugs, Harry. That would be drugs. I kind of like the I like the hammer. Yeah, Cheryl <laughs> sketchbook. That's a picture of me. Maybe it was a self-portrait. Cheryl's not exactly Vincent Van Gogh. <laughs> Is that hole that I came through? A trash shoot? 
maybe? Doors jammed? Should I go talk to my police officer friend? not allowed to go back okay am I no. oh. for this altar he just goes up to it and goes yeah that's an altar yeah there's no like huff of the powder scratch and sniff you know asking it a few questions Maybe I'm just clicking wrong. Uh, it was on the wall over here. I don't have a lighter anymore. I did think about lighting the... Um, what's it called? Candles. Oh, the axe was over here. On the wall. Maybe there's something written on the wall here? <laughs> I like how none of these weapons do anything to the environment, yet I still insist on trying it. You know, just in case. Apparently the lighter was single use. This door's really short. How tall do you think Harry is, lads? I reckon six foot four with his platform shoes on. Six foot two without. Three feet tall. There doesn't seem to be anything here. 2.5 meters. Yeah, I was thinking he was quite tall. There's a whole lot of Harry to fit in these flares. Is this wall genuinely what I'm supposed to be looking at? I swear I'm clicking it. Someone else had a lighter, luckily. Harry? Harry? She was covering him. Seven feet tall. <gasps> 
Harry. Lisa? Then I'm in the hospital? You were having a bad dream. Don't believe her, Harry. I don't hey, think she's a nice woman. Too good. I think all the nurses are mean. I'm fine. I think they're all evil. Nothing I think she's turning into a zombie. Now. Well, if you're sure. Lisa, do you know a woman named Dahlia Gillespie? Oh yeah, that crazy Gillespie lady. She's kind of famous around here. She never sees anybody, so I don't know that much about her. But I heard her kid died in a fire, and supposedly she's been crazy ever since. That's not a good bedside manner. Well, she says the town is being devoured by the darkness. No politics, Viola. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? The town she's only 23, Bateman. Yes, I think I do. Gosh, she's really sad after her kid died. Weird, eh? The townspeople here were on the quiet side. Everybody followed some kind of queer religion. Weird occult stuff. Black magic, that kind of thing. I like how our As hands keep twitching. Away, people figure they'd been summoned by the gods. Evidently, things like that used to happen around here all the time. Not a cult. Before the resort, there really wasn't anything else out here. True. Everyone was so flipped out, you gotta blame it on something. Then a lot of new people came in and everybody clammed up about it. A cult? Last time I heard anything about a it was... We call it a cookout around here. When several people connected with developing the town died in accidents. People said it was a curse. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. I'll shut up. <laughs> and she sped away. <laughs> was that another dream? <laughs> I pass out again? <laughs> and off she went. I don't want to think so, but maybe this is all going on in my head. I could have had a car accident and now I'm like unconscious in a hospital bed. That's why you heard the car. Sybil said Cheryl was heading towards the lake. But the road to the lake is blocked. Aren't there any other roads? Lisa would probably know. But wow, Harry's really got it for the creepy nurse lady, hasn't he? Right. I'm still in the antique store, but I'm in the weird, like... Is this where they got the idea for the upside down in Stranger Things? Not that I've ever watched Stranger Things, but I assume it looks exactly like this. Except maybe upside down. Oh, it's got that weird, like, symbol on the floor. So, towards the lake. Where is the lake? What are the stores across the street? Oh, it's too dark. Is that blue thing the lake? There's a lot of blue though. Like, is that not like a river? Take your best guess. <laughs> <laughs> P 
public housing? The one, the one, the blue one, maybe? Silent Hill Town Center. We haven't been to the town center yet. Sybil said the name of the road. I didn't catch it out. Neither did I. Oh, public parking. Yeah, public parking. Tea room. FMM across the road. We could go and check. Ah! Got him. I'm running. Oh, F A A. There he is. Massachusetts something. Magic Mario. Mario. Ah! I died. No, I'm not dead. You are though. <laughs> I played dead for a minute, you see. I got him. I think I really fooled him. Magic. El Magic land. Just run away, Harry. Parking. That way. Public parking. Oh, Christ. Ooh. I'm just trying to give you a, a tour. Oh, okay, town center. Oh. Maybe if we go via the town center. Oh my god, why did the fucking camera change? Don't get a. What about getting eat? Oh god. Right, welcome to the town centre, everyone. Wow. Giga store <laughs> for all the local trads near you. Uh, this is the PlayStation 1, but we're playing it on a PlayStation 2. Silent Hill Town Center. If you don't look like the Crimson Chin, you don't get into the Giga Store. Can I steal the map? Oh. I bet Harry will go, no, I can't steal that map. That's illegal. <laughs> He can't. He genuinely can't steal it. Because that would be illegal. He won't even look at it, no. He's like, I must avert my eyes so I don't give in to temptation. He's a law-abiding citizen. That's why he won't go in the Giga store, because he doesn't have a big enough chin. What's this floor we're walking on? Oh! I don't know, like metal grating, which doesn't seem very practical. Oh? Oh, did you see those pictures of... Oh! Oh! I don't like it. Cheryl! I don't... I've only ever seen clips of the Matrix. I feel like I should watch it. Who 
Who's gonna be all... Enemy of choice. Oh, well, somebody. Uh, clips of it. God, it's a giant bed bug. Ow. Oh, good one, Harry. Is this it? Is this the... You know, I, I don't mean uh, um, less than this slug's achievements. I'm sure it worked very hard to become the, like... I am a little bit sick damage but it's more my fault I'm sure he worked very hard to become a boss no I've only seen a bit of the matrix I see the bit where um, Keanu has to pick which uh, which pill he would like and then he has to go find a lady with a white rabbit tattoo Ow, this white rabbit tattoo and then he does the dance where he misses the bullets. I've seen that bit. I know the Jimmy Jam behind it, that it turns out they're all in, in the Matrix and they wanna wake up, you know? Yeah, the boss feels like a Zelda boss. I feel like it's not that hard if I wasn't being stupid. Which I suppose is really the, uh, what a Zelda boss is, isn't it? I like the jam that's on the floor. When was the last time I saved? Not all that long ago. All that long ago. Ooh. It's a nice satisfying sound. I presume it doesn't come with many bullets though. What do I think of the new Matrix movie? Oh, well, you know, Keanu was the best part. Um, I think he should have taken the other pill. He 
just don't seem to be able to get a, um, a clean shot on him. Get him twice, maybe. Yeah, I don't know whether just to take the take the death and restart. Use the yard and hurry. Then he can be killed. Yeah, tactical death, exactly. Oh my god, Harry, why does it take you so long? Bullets, you piece of shit, Harry. Thank you. We will... Right. This is the last time Harry's gonna get a fucking chance. You die here, Harry. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Yeah, the pipe goes down low, that's what I was thinking. Harry's got a bad back, all right? I got rich to do this bit just done. Oh no, Harry, don't die. Oh no. or flares, we can't decide. Where 
Patricia. I just don't understand why you missed that second shot, Harry. I can't see anything. See, the problem with, um, like, quick turning with Harry is that the camera can't really keep up with you quick turning. You can't even... He's right in front of you! Why did you fire over there? Were well, you trying to hit the cameraman? No, he's not very good at his job, Harry, but you don't need to bloody shoot him. And then he can only shoot twice before Harry has to readjust his hands. He, like, fucking fumbles with his gun. It's like his gun is covered with butter. It was actually Harry's cum that was all over the manual and that's what his hands are covered with. Sorry. I'm pretty angry at him. Is this, is this how I, am I just supposed to keep shooting him? We got a good nyama. Look at that. No leaving the room. I don't know where he is. He's over there. Can't see anything. Presume he's there. No? Okay. Oh. We got one shot. Maybe he can't get to you while you're on the grate. That's true. We have taken a lot of crack. No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it seems like he can't burrow through this, but still...
rubbing my head like an old man. Okay. I'm gonna keep using my small gun. To be fair, Harry is and isn't stem-minded. He's a he's a writer. <laughs> you know, he's not like Yeah, Harry, just shoot the thing that's in front of you. I was like, where boss? You know, I don't think he's even hitting it. I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying. That I don't think. Harry's parents expected very much from him, you know? Okay, I've got a new tactic. Harry's got a new tactic. Knitting! Knitting is a highly intelligent... God. If I could teabag, I'd teabag this. Kick him. What's Wait, he doing here? why is he not He's dead? Why is he... Harry, hi. why is he not dead? Harry? Hanky! Thank you so much for the follow. Oh no, he's just leaving. Okay. He just left. You know, he didn't die after the fight. He just, just kind of like, ah. I'm done playing with you now, Harry. Harry, you're boring. He got done with our shit, Auntie. He was just here to show me the way. That's all he wanted originally anyway. We were the ones that started shooting him. Stage two. Right, Harry. Because <laughs> it's when Sally met Harry. I didn't get a chance to ask this. The game's really mean that it doesn't give you any health after that fight. It's like, no, 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 you don't need health. Harry, the MVP. Surely we'll have made it out of that with full health. Yeah, if you don't have full health, it's a skill issue. Not a Harry problem. What's Harry's last name? Mason. He's H&M. Na 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 Da na 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 I don't know where I'm going na 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 And see why this city was so shit Its roads are made of like a grating no way <laughs> I'm getting quite good at confusing the monsters by moving erratically. Okay. Uh... So we're supposed to be going towards the lake.
Isn't the circle where I need to go? No, that's the hospital. That's where I've been. Harry just likes to circle things on the map for fun. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that the elementary school is still circled as well. Oh, speak to the nurse. Oh. Back we go, Harry. They did say, oh, Lisa will know where I'm meant to be going. Harry didn't have any dignity to leave anywhere. I went the wrong way. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's cardio for Harry. It's leg day. Oh, fuck off. Oh, well, okay. Mm -hmm. I'd like a healing item. Lisa. Oh, Lisa. Can you heal my wounds, Lisa? Oh, why is there a hole in the middle of the road? This is what Americans call roundabouts. Yeah, nice bit of barbed wire next to the hospital. Oh my god, dogs, 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 and I'm stuck against a pipe, Harry. Can't run in, alright? In a straight line. Lisa? Oh, Lisa! Lisa! I could do whatever I ending. Whatever ending how Oh my god, Lisa! Glad you're okay. Oh, she really gives me the heebie jeebies, Thank lads. Oh god, you came back. I was scared to be here all alone. I'm here now. I was worried too. I'm real happy to see you. Lisa. Can you tell me how to get to the lake? The lake? You take Bachman Road. The road's blocked. Well, that's the only way out there. Oh, thank, thanks, Lisa. Thank Are you. you. Sure? Glad I waddled all the way over here. There's got to be another way. She's a nurse. Nurse hat. Wait! I just remembered something. <laughs> Convenient, Lisa. What? There's a waterworks over by my old elementary school. It's been abandoned for years. There's an underground tunnel. She made an animal. For okay, but she's not actually a nurse. <laughs> I remember hearing it runs all the way to the lake. Nurses don't wear hats in the UK either. Really? You think I can get to the lake from there? Harry, she just I've said never been down in that there you myself, can. myself, so I'm not positive. <laughs> Besides, it's all fenced off to keep people out. If there's a chance, I've got to try. Harry, don't go. She gives me the heebie jeebies. I don't want to be alone. It's so scary, I can't stand it. How about coming with me? This may not be the safest place in the world either. I don't I think I'd want Lisa to be my nurse. I'll do my best to protect you. No. Somehow I feel I'm not supposed to leave this place. Oh, Harry, I'm so scared. I'm cold. I think Lisa's dead. Look, just wait here a little longer. I'll be back as soon as I find my daughter. Harry, 
Yeah, Lisa. <laughs> clutches, clutches boobs. <laughs> Did I just leave? I just left her! I left. <laughs> She's like, Harry! <laughs> a fucking conversation and as soon as she turns around I just... she just hears the door open and open open and leave oh my god those are emotional support <laughs> oh my god I liked how she was like oh I don't know how you'd get to the lake Harry oh wait you can go through the waterworks to get to the lake, Harry. And Harry's like, Will that get me to the lake? No. No, actually it won't. Well, let's save so we don't have to talk to... Shall we talk... Shall we go back in and see whether Lisa has something to say? Actually, Lisa, I forgot something. Lisa's gone! Lisa's gone. Oh my gosh. How am I enjoying the game so far? I... I like it. I like it. It's a lot more puzzled than I was expecting. I think it's very, very funny. Feeling lonely. <laughs> Without Lisa. Without Lisa. Who wouldn't feel lonely? <laughs> oh. Lisa and her emotional support boobs. They were my emotional support boobs too. Yeah, it's not as spooky as I was expecting. Not as spooky. But it has its moments. Like when the music changes and it gets really tense. Or when, um... Oh. Kind of deliberately jump scares me. the way I don't know whether I find streaming games more or less spooky I think I tend to find them about the same or oh, particularly with scare alerts it becomes a bit more spooky I haven't are you serious I don't have any help I don't have any health items, lads. I mean, I suppose maybe I do. I've got that, that, uh, the suppository. Oh, there is a thing near my old elementary school. <laughs> Harry? Wow, that sure is interesting. But I don't care. Wow, Harry sounds exactly like he's voiced by Chris Pratt. That's crazy. <laughs> Thank you, Brad. Thank you. Who's Chloe supposed to be? Like, um... Oh, God, Harry. What I wanted. Who is Chloe? Chloe... Chloe, um... Chloe... Uh, Bechamel. Bechamel. Bechamel? Bechamel. Chloe? Is that her name? Zoe. <laughs> Zoe. 
Yeah. So it can't be. Never mind. <laughs> the power stance. The power stance of Harry. Who who came first? Polygons. Your dad or Harry? Who copied who? Ow. I'm hoping I'm hitting it. I'm not sure though. Like they're screaming in the distance. Ah! Or did I? The fuck is the air raid sirens in the background for though? No, Stephen. It worked just as intended. You see those visual effects of them? Are stunning. I'm actually a little bit speechless for them. Well, it was uh, it was probably a boss that they wanted to use. And they didn't know where to put it. They didn't have an appropriate place. And they were like, oh, just put it on top of the wall, <laughs> the water tower. Just put the, just put the giant moth. Some intern probably worked really hard on that boss, all right? Full army of Harry. <laughs> A murder of Harry's. No, no item. No heals either in between the two bosses. Arguably could be seen as my fault. You know, maybe I should have... Uh... I, okay, something that really pickles my radishes is in games when I kind of, I, f the character runs the way they're facing rather than running the way the, ca the camera is facing. Because it's really annoying because I expect him to go one way, but he ends up sonicking the other way. Okay, let's see where the lease is here. A mothmatician. I know Lisa. The tank controls. It's just like Tomb Raider. I suppose it's just the PlayStation controls, right? The stick kind of works, but it also kind of doesn't because it's a little bit, um... Sometimes when you expect Harry to go one way, he goes a different way. So we um, did have a peepo around, and I think I picked up all of the heal items. I did take a look at the map, and it looks like I've been in every room. Except the toilets. You know what, let's try the toilets. I remember having the, the demo for the PlayStation Crash game. I got it in a... I want to say I got it in some uh, cereal boxes. Little Big Adventure. That always reminds me, is that the one with the sack boy in or not? Is that the one that I saw Frass playing? Yeah, I do have one healing item. I just like a couple of small ones. Rather than having to kind of bring out the big guns. Maybe elevator? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You play the guy in a blue robe. I think I saw Frass playing it. I think. You'd think the medicine room would have some. I th the, the hospital was quite generous. They had that medicine vending machine, which I would argue could be kind of misused. Doesn't appear to be working. I can't even go up anymore. Okay. 
I haven't pooped this morning either. Can I go out this way? Unbelievable, I know. The only way I could possibly go is maybe down the stairs. See, I think I think we're just not allowed to explore the hospital anymore. They're like, it's done. You can leave now. Stop having fun. Stop having fun and get on with the story. It was free though, the vending machine. It did dispense freely to me, so. Worth noting. Let's just leave. Pivot, Harry. Pivot. Oh my god, did you see that dodge? It was an entirely un unintentional dodge. It was a dodge nonetheless. I pressed it myself. Was that about a water water cooling facility? Which way am I supposed to be facing? This way. Down there. That is a pharmacy. But I don't think I can get to it. We can take a little peep. Because I think we've uh, kind of cleared this place out of monsters. But I don't think that it lets me in it. An ambulance. Lovely. Oh, maybe there are some monsters down here. Green. Yeah, there's no door in to the pharmacy. Keep going straight. Oh, Harry, that was embarrassing! Oh my god. Stop. That's gonna go on you've been framed. Guy runs straight into lamppost. It's magnetic. Don't send him anywhere near an MRI machine. Come on, keep moving. Keep running. He runs like he needs a shit. He runs like someone getting out of their car after they've been stuck in traffic for two hours, really needing a shit. <laughs> this must be the waterworks Lisa was talking about. locked. Oh! Hmm, the lock is worn out. Alright. No? Is 
This is a fun question. Which of you guys were leash children? <laughs> Which of you had leashes? You know those like kid child leashes that you know you put you put on silky fesh in Melbourne. <laughs> Shewin, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Zoe, welcome to the weeds. Dreams do come true, Zoe. Dreams do come true. Yeah, you know, like kids, toddlers, toddler leashes. That you know, they put that like little shirt on, and then you have your little like toddler reins. I suppose they're called. I think. I absolutely leashed my kids, mostly in airports mm. and stuff. I oh, raised yeah. a couple of damned escape artists. <laughs> Surprised they didn't like shuffle out of their harness at breakfast. Thank you. I had my parents. My parents <laughs> leashed me when we were going near a. Um... Yeah, leashed is in like you know sort of like. Um. I was leashed when I, uh, when my parents were taking their like bodies of water. So that I wouldn't, you know, fall in and drown, eventually. When I was little, I would, oh shit. Hang on. I think I'm gonna die. My parents probably just hoped I would disappear. No. This is the only way to keep Bezos out of your tea. So I don't mind the doxing from Papal if it means he doesn't get a cut low. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Ooh. Now spin, Harry, spin. I probably could have just turned down. Thank you very, very much. I know you guys squiggles. Mummy's just in the sewers right now. Oh, too little to check for actual cars, so my grandma, who wasn't very quick, took me outside for a walk. <laughs> I ha had to be leashed so I wouldn't run away. I want to be buried in blankets like Doggo. She's just come back with a toy. But, uh, it is, Timmy, it is. Is indeed. Bro, how's your Friday? Monday. God, I really do think it's Friday, don't I? Is your Friday going? Monday! <laughs> really convinced. No save spots. Which I don't like because we don't have very much health. We don't have any healing items left. Susie's bed is very comfortable, though. Very comfortable. I quite often just kind of crawl in there, put the blanket over me, and fall asleep. Oh, so cute. She's so cute. Hey, Mr. West! Solid? I've used the ampule, yeah. Oh. Yeah, we are... 
all out. <gasps> oh, delicious healing item. Singular, because there's only one. Oh, delicious. Take that as well. Such a baby. No, no, no. She sleeps in there as well sometimes, you know. She doesn't doesn't tend to get too angry at me being in a bed. Like she she actively likes it. Um sometimes she wakes up with sleep startle, which is uh, quite common for greyhounds, which is when they wake up and they don't realize where they are. Um so she sometimes gets a bit she like she doesn't realize I'm there and then she gets a bit angry. Um and then she immediately she's like, "Oh, very sorry, mummy." <laughs> Run away. She's like, very sorry, mummy, I didn't realize who you were. Do I not get to, oh my God. Yeah, I've just been um, going on a little bit longer. Until I'm kind of tired, you know. So it might, you know, it might might vary. We might finish at normal time. Till I start feeling sick, essentially. <laughs> Why are there sewer boats? I was thinking that I was supposed to go on them. I presume they're for the people that clean the sewers, right? Or gondolas. It's like Venice, really, isn't it? They do say Silent Hill is the Venice of America. She's just turned three. She's uh, just turned three years old, so she's a she's a young lady, aren't you, ma'am? Yeah. Hi, sweetie. Oh. Hi, sweetheart. I love you. Yeah, I do love you. Oh. That's how she tries to guilt me into giving her a scrub. Uh, like she's like, oh, mommy, come and itch my neck, because sometimes she's a bit too rough with herself, so I itch her neck for her. And she's like, oh, come and itch my neck, please, mummy. <laughs> like, oh, with the very itchy neck, you must come and fuss me. I was hoping we could ride the sewer boats. Maybe. Maybe those fishmen that I just killed were actually the gondola owners. She's not old enough to drink. Eh. They say seven years in dog years, don't they? So, what's three times seven is 21? Has America got the oldest drinking age? Is this really not what I'm supposed to do? Does she ever try and climb on me? Um, she... <laughs> she'll sit and watch. She has little peepos. She's got little peepos and she'll sit and she'll stare at me and she's like, Mother, are you done yet? Mother, are you finished talking to the box? Um... But she tends to be quite good. She then, uh, she will become a little bit of a rat bag that, like, she'll, she'll be like, Mum, you you should be done now. <laughs> I'm ready to play. I'm ready to play. Are you done now? She'll kind of start getting a bit more pacey and a bit kind of, a bit ratty. She's not, um... Not a big jumper. Okay, um, if you got food, she is. I'm here. No. Yeah, she's a rat. Like a bag of rats. <laughs> Heated a discussion of the size of Lisa's legs. <laughs> what has she got? Particularly big legs. Like, ma uh, <laughs> sweetie, mommy's got to find Harry's daughter, Cheryl. Can you just wait? <laughs> mommy can't figure out how the sewer works. She's 
become a lot more licky as well. As she's um kind of gotten more and more comfortable. I'm wondering if there's like some kind of lever or pulley somewhere around here. So she'll have a good she'll have a good blep of you. Maybe something I'm not seeing. Now he's bloody wheezing. <laughs> that way Greg lives with me to babysit while I'm streaming. Yeah, could you go see Daddy? Mummy's <laughs> Mummy's busy trying to find Cheryl. sect you clearly enticed the dog <laughs> you clearly wore your special dog enticing perfume mm -hmm. pockets full of gravy <laughs> trying to get every dog to jump at you All right, I'll take a back seat. What am I supposed to do? Harry is confused. He's lost and he's sad. Meat soup. <laughs> Maybe it was that bacon shirt that you went out? Yeah, I just... Kind of wander around aimlessly. Is there not nothing to do with the boats? Am I getting tricked by the boats? Do I have the sewer key? No. Am I meant to have a sewer key? If one wanted to get a sewer key. Where would one go? <laughs> oh. Walk through sewers resort area. Naughty, but I can still see it. Ho, 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 ho. Got, just got a fucking sass on. Yeah, does it smell like sick, doesn't it? Yeah, it smells like vomit. That's the that's the soft toy she vomited on. It's been washed. It just it, it we didn't wash it with like fabric conditioner, so it still smells like vomit. She's like, oh my goodness, I have so many toys back here. What am I gonna play with? What are you gonna play with? Hmm. Yeah, huh? Hey, Wiggles. Hey, Wiggles. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah. Well, there we go. Um. Okay, I've got it. Map of the sewers, stay to the left. Seems to be some office down here. Sewer key, okay. Ladder, ladder. Got it. I'm so excited for a knitted coat. I'm fucking excited too. I hope it fit. Like, imagine if I'm not. I am a little bit worried that it's going to be a, a tad too big. Just heard Greg going, leave it. Like, what were you trying to pick up, ma'am? What were you trying to pick up? 
Just heard you'd be told off. Pinky lady. Yeah, big stretch. Duh. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for giving us up to old city. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Old Welcome back to the week. <laughs> <laughs> my love, <laughs> my love, you can assume me. <laughs> She's like, stop working. <laughs> want a toy? What do you want? <laughs> right. You tell us who's. There we go. Oh. What's my heart rate at? Now it's the fingers. The fingers that do me in. Right. I'm supposed to be finding a... Uh... So I be while I just catch my breath. I am supposed to be finding this. That's what I'm supposed to be finding. <laughs> She's waiting. She's waiting like, um, <laughs> she's waiting like some kind of boss. Like, as soon as you're done, mummy, you get back to playing with me. There we go. What do we got here then? And a save. Shall we save here, lads? Shall we save here? Because look, look. I can't, I can't, I can't be a negligent mother any longer. Somebody clearly, yeah. She's very sad. Very upset -y. I can't neglect her anymore. We will be back with more Silent Hill on Friday, though, for everybody wondering about Silent Hill. Um, there is more. She knows I'm wrapping up. There are VODs up on the VODs channel as well, uh, if you're interested in those. On tomorrow, on the morrow, we are going to be playing The Realms of the Haunting. And on Wednesday, we will be playing... <laughs> What about the footy? <laughs> the footy, the football. Thank you, old sick. Thank you. Negligent parenting is best parenting. It builds character. It's character. <laughs>
It makes them more independent, right? It makes them, you know, oh, it makes them able to face the big wide world by themselves. <laughs> Thank you, breakfast. <laughs> Thank you. I couldn't, I couldn't neglect. I couldn't neglect her any longer. Yeah, and Wednesday we are Majora's masking. And then, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly, bread. <laughs> it's like, um, it adds to the, yeah, it gives, adds to the flavor, right? No, thank you lads for coming. Thank you very much. Shall we, shall we do a little bit of a raid of frass today? I think so. Let's raid frass. Frass is playing Hitman. So you guys go and keep him company for that. We do have the new merch up, so go check it out. Just, just, just peepo. Just a peepo. Um, <laughs> thank you very much for the wonderful stream, lads. Thank you very much. And I will see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow at one. Uh, not sure on the date, but I will get back to you on that sect. I will. Thank you very much, lads. I'll see you soon. <gasps> Bye! And everyone who's watching the VOD, thank you very much for watching the VOD. I hope you had a nice time. Thank you.